That's all I had to come in and say. But on a real note, though, have you guys seen how thick as fuck the new last boss is in the new raid? Fucking Jesus Christ. Jesus. Go live. Uh, nah, I still got like some food to eat and shit. Uh, I don't, I don't know if alpha flags have happened yet. I have like the thing in my launcher that has the, I already did like the wow alpha download thing, but it's not like in my launcher yet, so I can't even play. As far as I know, no one can. Hey Max, how have you been? Well, last night I meant to go to bed at like midnight to get some sleep. But instead of that, I stayed up until 4.30 a.m. watching the new Fallout series because it got real good in episode 3. And I just watched like the whole fucking thing. So that was good and now I'm tired. Uh, but you know what it is, so. The person you're trying to reach is not available right now. New starting soon screen soon. Oh, actually, good point. I was thinking of doing that at the beginning of yesterday. Like, before my stream started. But... Then that would have, like, kind of violated my NDA. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you on the phone? Fuck no. I thought NDAs don't hold you back. Wait, that's actually a fact. That's actually a fact. I've never been taken down by an NDA before. Max, do you want to trade jobs? You do 9 to 5, and I scream gyat into a mic. <laughs> that is all I do, actually. Um, but yeah, let's get it. I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to trade jobs with anybody. I think this job's fucking owns. I get to turn on my stream and just fucking yap. It's easy.
The literal only downside of this job is you feel like you could never go on vacation. Like truly, I've never gotten over that. And also, uh, at the end of your stream, you feel like a soulless husk and you can't talk to anyone until you go to sleep and start your stream the next day. But that's true of a lot of jobs too, I think. But specifically just, it's like you're just constantly creatively at 100% in full entertainment mode. It's like you're doing an eight hour stand-up set where you're talking to an old friend you haven't seen for 10 years for eight hours. It's just at the end, you're like, God damn, I just don't, I'm, I'm, I'm down to do a lot of shit except for talk to people. Probably similar to like retail, yeah. Max, I understand. I just spent the last four hours having meetings with my team at work. I understand. Now I'm here to listen to you yap instead of myself. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I know, uh... I know there was, like, a thing. Like, I think Hassan said basically exactly what I said. Uh... Like three months ago or something but there was a really bad out of context clip and what it sounded like he was saying was streaming is a harder job than all of your jobs <laughs> which is i mean an insane statement they didn't actually say that um the the yeah that was a fucking good bit that was a good couple days That ain't what he said? Nah. It's a classic director's cut clip. Classic. Like, like an aggregated tweet went live that, like, showed an exact director's cut of him saying that shit. But if you listen to the context, like, five seconds before or after, it completely changes the tone of the entire thing. And, like, most people get their information from that. And a lot of people look to hate on Hassan. I don't really feel any way about Hassan. I've met him a couple times. I don't, I'm not, like, cool with him or anything. But I'm all, I also don't hate him, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm just indifferent. Um, but yeah, he, he, like, people will take any, like, everyone's looking to director's cut that guy. And then if he ever slips up at all or has, like, a bad take, it's just, like, he's just going to get owned by so many people. What is it? Didn't he double down, though? Yeah, what Tater said is right. He didn't double down on the out-of-context bit. He doubled down on the in-context part of it, which was correct. Yeah. His take was exactly... I feel like my social battery is drained after streaming. Which I can tell you is a motherfucking fact. Because he's also a yapping streamer. Uh, he did not say my social battery is drained more than any other job. He didn't say that anyone's job is harder than anyone else's that was all all director's cut but maybe some of you are learning that right now which is actually quite a quite a uh an example of how strong aggregating director's cut out of context clips can be Not even just on Twitch, but, like, literally just in the world. Like, people do this all the time. You go on Twitter, there's people who will just, like, take a snippet of it out of an interview and make someone sound like a complete asshole. I'm a proud Hasanabi head, though. Yeah, I don't know. He seems like an alright guy. I've met him a few times. Seems, uh, seems cool.
his vibe around a big group of people is i think i'm one of the most important people here that's the vibe <laughs> but that's actually true so he's not even being fake so i can't even hate him for that Hassan's life must be hell, though, because, like, the people that I deal with on a daily basis that I struggle with the most are people that I think are unreasonable. Think of people who whose opinions they've come to has been driven almost completely out of emotion, blinded by some things instead of looking at things logically. And I don't have a ton of them in my chat. My chat's been curated. We got some super geniuses. But, like, just anyone, and I mean on both sides of it. Like, if you are aggressively biased arguing a side, to me, it's incredibly obvious. And that just bothers me, and I wish you understood both sides more. The issue with Hassan's bit is that I bet Hassan only deals with the furthest extreme of both of those. Like, the people who defend him are probably fucking crazy, and the people who hardcore look to ruin his life every day are also fucking crazy <laughs> like i don't know how much how much reason there is in the middle that he actually interacts with like that's what i think would drive me insane but like that's the thing though like that's the thing that sells so, like, in a way, it's a chicken before the egg thing. He created that. The reason he is so big is because he, those people want to watch him. You know what I mean? It's not common to be the, the reasonable one. So, you, you're, you're, you're limiting your, your viewer base in a way. I promise you, if there's any, if there's any group of people that I would be like locked up in a mental asylum with a straight jacket going crazy about is if my chat was just filled with people who were like that. I mean, I don't think I could stream. Like the only reason I can stream is because I feel like most of the people who are in my chat are like pretty cool people and they are funny as fuck and they say funny stuff and they give me good ideas and it's just like a good conversation. If it was just a bunch of fucking emotional, parasocial fucking weirdos, I would hate my life. I would never do this. And if and this is also like completely connected too. Like you guys wonder why I get one guide? I am so much more likely to get one guide by a comment that is so obviously from that place. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that someone is wrong, but you can tell that the way that they're saying it means that they feel, they think some crazy ass take that you could only think if you're like that. It just tilts me so much. Max, maybe we are a bunch of parasocial weirdos, but you misunderstand us. That's very sweet. My my favorite bit is to actually turn the parasocial relationship on you guys. Like, I'll just pick someone one day, and every time they type, I'll just be like, hey, 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 hey man. Like, I was scared to even look at them. That's me. At maximum, you smell like Cheeto puffs. <laughs> That's cool, Woody. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I got my food.
Okay. Oh, do you know what is kind of interesting, by the way? And I don't and I don't mean to actually create a divide within the YouTube and Twitch chat, because I know that's already a deep cut, but um Like I've even noticed that my Something I noticed that like my average Twitch viewer and my YouTube viewer just have a different personality right now. But I think that's because I've been on Twitch for longer, so Twitch has had a longer time to like fully get me. Like for example, you know, like if you watch my YouTube content, so if you're watching my YouTube stream, maybe you watch my YouTube videos, but my YouTube videos sometimes are very informative. So you might make, you might think I'm a serious information guy. And that could be pretty reasonable. Like, like you could you could purely use my stream for information, right? So like, therefore, my YouTube chat is more mature because they're just like they got their suit and tie on, you know. They probably heard me screaming "giat" yesterday, and they were like, "I don't like this one bit, sir." And uh. And, and Twitch chat was probably like, all right, let's get it. Oh no, actually I do have some content on YouTube that is pretty, pretty light. But yeah. Oh yeah, that's also, an, do you guys think it's a factor that on YouTube, for some reason, it shows your whole ass full name instead of some dumbass game name, like, on Twitch, that that changes the way you type? You can remove it. You can just choose another name. Oh, that's hype. Yeah, well, anyways, uh, YouTube hates Twitch and Twitch hates, Twitch hates YouTube. I don't, I, I don't know why I'm doing this bit. I started this bit. That's the only reason it's a bit is because I started it on purpose. But does it benefit me in any way for my chats to hate each other? I actually don't know, but I think it, but it's already a thing, so, okay. Anyways, I'm going to suck down these waffles while I'm waiting for, uh, actually, pancakes today. And, uh, before this game comes out. Alright, so, I got, like, a, I'll give you the update. So I think I have alpha when it goes out, and I'll tell you why. It's because I got a, like, Q thing. It's not there anymore, but I took a picture of it where it was, like, in my download manager. It just said unknown game alpha initializing, and then I just downloaded it, but it's not in my launcher. And as far as I know, uh, it's not in someone's launcher. So if you guys want to see if you have it, one potential thing is in your battle net go to your download manager definitely don't download diablo 4 <laughs> or immortal um but you should see something with a blue wow icon that says wow alpha thing and then that might be an indicator as to whether you have it or not we aren't gonna have it so, the last couple of days has been a, like, super exclusive, you know, uh, creator thing. Just something WoW did for their creators. Let them play a little bit early. You know, this was actually interesting. So, in Dragonflight, they had this exact same event, but it was only for, like, YouTubers. And I have a YouTube, but I'm not, like, a YouTuber. So, I wasn't invited. And I had to, like, start streaming Alpha two days later like without making any of the content that was made yesterday 
So I'm definitely glad this time they opened it up to like all creators because I felt like that was kind of corny. Um, but then also some people obviously still got left out. Um, no, the the alpha that's coming out today is is uh is not for creators. Like, are creators more likely to get in? Yes. I believe everyone who was a part of that thing over the last two days is going to get in. Yes. But that's like 5% of the people who will be in Alpha. Like, they, they give Alpha out to a large, according to them, and has been true in other Alphas, to a large amount of people at random. So, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully a lot of you guys get it. Is it a lottery? As far as we know, yeah. So, like, what it used, how you used to get on Alpha... Like a long time ago, I'm talking like 2015 to 2020, was you had to know someone at Blizzard and get on their friends and family list. So like it, as a as like a Racer World First Guild, it was like a part of your job to like find your way onto someone's friends and family list for everyone in your guild. Uh, that is no longer a thing. Uh, I mean, it's like it's still a thing, but it's not. It's been like heavily reduced. Like they, they basically learned that was the thing, and then friends and family got reverted back to true friends and family. Uh, and now, now it's done on a much larger scale, and it's 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 more just getting in at random, as far as I know. Max, how did Frank get in? Is he a YouTuber? Uh, Frank was just on my account. He's my he's my editor and like works on a lot of my stuff. So he was on my account when I was playing hockey to uh to get B roll on the account that Blizzard gave for me. Guys, that's not account sharing. Guys, it's not even my account. Are they gonna ban that Blizzard account? <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, what's the name of this? Bl My Blizzard account had an awesome little battle net thing. It was like it was like stylish dog fifteen twenty nine or something like that. It was sweet. Let me fucking in, man. Max, do you think that it's going out to people who bought the expansion already? Uh, I don't know. So... So I think you're maybe confusing two things or you're talking about a third thing. The first thing you're talking about is the fact that you can buy, you can pre-order the War Within's Giga Edition and it gives you beta access. That's not what this is. Or you're assuming that you in general are more likely to get into an alpha test if you have bought the expansion, which I actually don't believe is true. I think that is true for previous betas, but that is not true for alpha. Um, I don't think it's either of those. Uh... But who knows? I don't know for sure. So. Max, is 10.2.7 Tuesday or is season 4 separate from 0.7? Yeah, Tuesday's 10.2.7, uh, yeah. Dude, there has been non-stop WoW content, by the way. <laughs> like, as a WoW content creator, it has been, especially if you're a Season of Discovery gamer which I, I know nothing about and care nothing about. There is a... Oh, yeah, Season 4 is not 10.2.7. Sorry, I probably said something... Uh, I probably said something confusing or probably just completely incorrect. On Tuesday, it is Season 4. 10.2.7 is coming in like a month and a half or two months. It's a long time from now. Yee. Yeah. There'll probably be multiple other PTR tests. What's coming in 
uh, Mop Remix, which is fucking dope. It's actually so sick. Max, is there going to be a charity lease for Tina? Nope. Mop Remix is a week after 10.2.7 launches. Whoa, that is... Wait, wait, what? Looking at the roadmap purely, it's like Season 4, which is at the beginning of spring in Darkheart 10.2.7. I mean, I know this isn't an exact timeline, but that looks like... The alpha literally just came out. It would be so weird if, like here, it's 100% confirmed by Blizzard. Dude, that's crazy if that's true. Because that's basic, like, I know this is not an exact science. But, like, it's as if they're doing this. Right? Like, like, literally just right there. Maybe, maybe Wowhead is confusing. Let's see what's going on. Max, people are confusing Season 4 with 10.2.7. Ah, uh, I see. Oh. Ah. Time running Mists of Pandaria will release one week after patch 10.2.7. That's so good. That's so good. And people just assume that basically what they're reading is 10.2.7 will release one week after season four, which includes time running Mr. Pandaria. That's 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 how people got baited. Wowhead is definitely just baiting. Now I'm all for calling out Wowhead for making you have to make ten more clicks than you need to to get all the information and they haven't done this in a while, but sometimes Wowhead makes some sensationally controversial uh, titles that have caused discourse purely because of the titles. The most famous one is uh, the one where they talked about how many more dungeons you would need to do to get Keystone Master once they made the Keystone Master based off in-game score instead of completing all the 15s one time. And it literally its all Twitter could talk about for a week about how the game is made for the 1% or whatever the fuck. And, and it literally changed fucking nothing and it was easier to get KSM. And it was all because of a WoWhead title. Anyways, the uh, uh, this is not that. This isn't bait. This is just true. It's just kind of confusing because I think people already confused 10.2.7 with Season 4. And that has nothing to do with WoWhead. What is it? Oh, they yeah, you're right. They did it yesterday when they posted the Warband Bank screenshot. Yes, this happened fucking yesterday. Bro, it's so funny. I, for, I, I forgot I didn't bring this up. If you're just like a Twitter hater, you're just like loving Wowhead to just make you mad. Let me see if I can find it. They posted so many things yesterday, so maybe I'll miss it, but... Ain't no way you just Googled Twitter. Come on. Bro, someone could have just linked it to me. I didn't. Wowhead was fucking tweeting yesterday. Was it the one with the 2.5 million image? Yes. This is it. 700 likes, 200 comments. You can already guess what all of them are. How many WoW tokens is that? Oh, we're supposed to have that many kind of gold this in this economy? What? That is ridiculous. Guys, this isn't something you need. This isn't to buy the Warband Bank. This picture was specifically generated of the last tab just to, like, fucking make it's just to get clicks and to pop off this is there are 400 slots in your bank before this tab 
It would be impossible for you to fill those. <laughs> you don't need this ever. It's, it, it's just, but like, I mean, you could still be mad that a tab costs that, but it's a gold sink. I mean, I guess you're mad that the long boy costs five mil and, uh, you know, that anything costs gold. I mean, that's fine. Uh, but specifically this was like, this is a complete non-topic, but because you posted this, you posted it in the most effective way to make people mad. People being mad, negativity draws clicks. It's just, you know what it is. Anyways, I'm wrong. Okay, so back to this. My chat baited me. Because <laughs> because you guys, you guys, people in my chat were like, time running is coming out one week after season four. And I'm just like, what the fuck happened here? Also, I tested that time running thing. And I learned a few things last weekend. Number one, it's really, really, really fucking cool. And good. Number two, it is definitely not ready yet and needs probably one or two more PTR passes before you would send that live. If they put that shit out in two weeks, in two weeks, it would not be good. I can't believe you ditched us on the Siege of Orgrimmar. I had shit to do. Mm. Mythic Siege of Orgrimmar was unironically well-tuned. Yeah, I saw you guys in there with two ferals doing like, uh, like 200 million DPS or something. Look pretty good. Max, this is a sick wallpaper. Is it a wallpaper engine? Yeah, open wallpaper engine, turn off the anime filter, and type in uwu uwu uh war within and just just before someone actually does that for the love of christ do not do that <laughs> that is one of the worst mistakes you'll ever make in your life <laughs> Post what you find in Discord. Do not post what you find in Discord. No, 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 no. What's up, Keisu? Keisu, I was wearing uh, my Complexity Limit uh, Lululemon little hoodie thing yesterday. That was stream. Still got that shit. Hmm. I can send you some sick product. Like the new Olympic stuff? Oh my fucking god, I would love that. You obviously don't have to, but if it, if it costs you nothing, that would be amazing. Max, did you see anyone playing Rogue in this alpha? I didn't find any videos. There's not a lot to see. So Rogue only has Trickster, I think, right now. Like, Assassination does not have a single playable hero talent. And Trickster turbo stinks, so... Also, there's not a lot of rogue content creators. There's a few big ones, but I don't think both of them did any alpha content. Feel like what is growl's title max is live so alpha is probably soon what the fuck is this
Guys, I don't fucking know when Alpha's going live. They told us in the Nida thing, they were like, Hey. Alpha down Wednesday, but embargo's over. And Thursday you play game. Like Thursday Alpha up. As I said. I don't know what time. What is it? Even Tally said it once he went live. Ain't no way I'm getting gaslit by Tally. As if I know things. Tally knows 10 times more than me. And he'll fucking just say it. That's not, that's not, that's, that's not fair. I do like, I do like this, uh, I do like this bit where I do seem like this all knowing like mafia boss though. That does go hard. Like I just got the info. I'm an Eldrachi, though. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. It's all I can say. They've been calling me that for a long time. Man, I can't wait for it to go up. Dude, I need to know what I want to do today. So, I want to do it just... I'm serious. This is going to sound so stupid because I know I should test a bunch of things. But all I want to do is do a ton of dungeons on Rhett and Monk. That's it. I just want to play Windwalker Monk, and I want to play Rhett out of pure fun value. It is so fucking fun. Very similar to how I felt about playing Demon Hunter last season for a little bit. Like, it's just the it's just so fun gameplay. But, like, I also want to try a bunch of different shit, which would involve me. The thing is, though, is that you don't want to do too many of those in a day. Because for me to actually... For me to actually enjoy doing these dungeons... Uh... I'm going to have to actually set up my character, which involves setting up my UI. Now, it's no add-ons, obviously, but, uh, like, I don't know. I need to, like, understand what the classes do. And the process of setting up a UI and understanding what a class does is not great content. But playing the class is, if that makes sense. So, a few classes a day usually is ideal. So, you lower the amount of setup time in your stream versus actual content. Actually, sometimes setting up classes is good content. Because you can tell some people in chat are actually interested in... Uh, you can tell some people in chat are actually interested in learning what the class does too, and they are vicariously learning through you. You know what is the worst feeling of all time, though? When you're setting up a full default UI on Alpha, and this happened to me uh, on Monday. I was completely setting up my UI. I had edit mode rolling. I was fucking moving shit around. I was in the Matrix, okay? I was changing keybinds. And then I didn't reload, and I zoned into the Isle of Dorne, and I DC'd, and I lost fucking all of it. And it took at least 15 minutes to do it all again. It was tragic. Which, by the way, I found this out by playing with a few other creators in dungeons. Apparently, some people still think you have to re-log to save all that stuff. All you gotta do is rip a little reload. Which you should definitely do on Alpha, because when you don't have any add-ons, you reload in like less than a second. And it just saves everything, so definitely do that. Also, another thing that people mis misunderstand happened... Uh, like, I think it was in Shadowlands, actually, when they made this. Maybe BFA? But you don't need to log off to install or update add-ons anymore. Like, you can install a brand new add-on. You've never had it before. You can just reload and it'll be there. You don't... It's been... A lot of you guys will know this, but you'd be surprised. There's there's people who still log the fuck off to install add-ons and shit. Here's what they need to do, though. Here's what they need to do. One of these 10 point... 11.1.7, okay? 
Maybe we don't get a little island with the onyx annulets or whatever. That's what they did last time. Maybe just spend that entire patch on... And I and I, I, I know I'm treading dangerous territory here. I'm getting close to being like... You know how when people are really mad at storm out... Uh, storm mounts, and then they're like, I wish those fucking mount makers would just balance my fucking game kind of shit. I, I'm, I understand I'm getting real close to that by saying this, but instead of doing like 11.1.7 and making actual content, I wish they would do another game efficiency upgrade like they did in either Legion or BFA. It was one of those patches, but it was like you gained fucking 20 frames in dungeons and raids instantly uh, by, by doing that, and I think yeah, it was eight. Was it eight point one? Yeah, like they need to fucking do that again. That this game, especially in thirty man raids, is like, I mean, it's like a significantly worse experience. Um, but <laughs> I do get it. It's like, imagine I'm like talking to Scarzard, right? Who does a lot of like uh, reward stuff. Like he he did most of the Omni token stuff. He you know he does he does all he's big. It does most of the trinkets. Uh, and I'd just be like, hey man, so do you think you could cool it on the trinkets for a bit and maybe, maybe maybe get the old wrench out and fix the fucking game or something? Like it's it's just like it makes no fucking sense. But like, <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> I actually want to say that to him. I I just want to see his reaction. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> the, the best part is the wrench, as if you're using a wrench to like optimize optimize your servers. Just fucking just turning shit. Maybe this will do it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going crazy. Give me awful right now. Bro, now I feel like I have a responsibility. I slept in because I stayed up all night watching Fallout because I'm stupid, right? And then I woke up late. I would have been live at 9.30. And now people think I woke up at a specific time later because I, like, know something. I don't know anything. Just in general, by the way. But definitely when fucking Alpha's coming up. So, I don't know, man. Let's go. Get me in there. Max, explain drops enabled. Man, I don't know. Let's look. Twitch.tv slash maximum. Yay. It does say drops enabled, but does it say you're gaining a drop? Right here? It doesn't, right? So, like, that's just wrong. I don't know. It's just made up, I guess. Dude, I really, I really want to get a WoW dev on our podcast. I think it would be a great environment. They'd have to be media trained for it, but I believe one of them already was. And I don't want it to be a suit and tie interview. I just want to fucking kick it. And I know I can kick it with a few of them because I have, and they're really smart, and they have. It's like a, such a good conversation. The only problem with Scarzard though is he's like me. In that he fucking talks a lot. And I can't imagine him and I also on a podcast with two other people and that being good content. Like, I've had to try really hard on the podcast. And I think I've done really well for the past, like, three or four episodes. But, like, it was really hard for me to acclimate from, like, solo podcasting on my stream, basically, to doing it with other people. I just talk too much. Um, and then now I try harder, but I had to like fucking force myself to do that differently. Yeah, it could be the goddamn yeah, apocalypse. Oh, you know what? You know what we could do too to pass some time? I saw that the, uh, 
that other podcast that we watched, I uploaded a YouTube video of it, which I think was actually doing pretty well. Wait, I wonder... Let's see how my YouTube videos did yesterday, because Franck was worried that they wouldn't do so well for a few reasons. Number one, we were launching multiple at the same time, which I think we, he actually avoided, And but also I was live on YouTube, which kills your viewership of your YouTube videos. Yeah, see, like, this would have... If I wasn't live on YouTube yesterday, this would have done, like, twice as much as this. Um, But... Yeah, I still don't really know how to deal with that. Um, check your VOD views. How do you do that? Yeah, look at... So my VOD views yesterday are 48k views on a 12-hour stream. I mean, that... And a lot of that content kind of intersects with this kind of a video, right? Your face in that thumbnail. Wait. Wait, dude, that's actually crazy. I'm literally fucking... Woo! After winning. Oh, you weren't talking about that? You are talking about this? Yeah, Frank... I, I don't know. He just... I, I do be looking like I'm pondering here. Don't I? I look like I'm pondering something. Less people care about Windwalker? Oh yeah, I'm not talking about this video. Yeah, I, I, I'm very aware of that. And, and, and I don't shy away from that content either. Like, if for example, remember how I was telling you about how, how I think the best way to approach hero talent videos is not actually to do individual videos on hero talents. It's actually to do a video about every spec and have that entire video be about the two hero talents that they can play. I think that's the best way to get feedback and to actually have good conversation about it because of how they interact with specs differently. But those videos will get significantly less viewers than my normal videos will because most people in WoW are not like me. Most people in WoW do not kind of... Like, I, I'm a little partial to Windwalker, but like... It is my job to know and care about every spec in the game because I have to know everything they can do, right? And I also just kind of like the design goals of everything. I just find it really interesting. Almost no one is like that. Almost a lot of, like, most wild people just, like, play their main. And they care way more about, like, Hunter instead of something like that, right? Uh, except for healers. I don't give a fuck about healers. So you guys know that. It's fucking amen, too. Um, but, yeah, the... Uh, but like that's that's so so whenever I make videos like that, I think they're important and I think 100% of the people who watch them love that content and it's it's very niche and good content and I think I'm one of the best people to make that content. But it doesn't get a lot of views uh and it's not going to be majorly popular just because it's really simple. There are 39 specs, most people only care about 1, 2 or 3. So you are alienating 90% of your viewer base every time you make a specialized video like that, right? Um Sometimes people like to listen on how everything's working, but you'd have to be really fucking deep in the in the weeds like me to do that. Viewership and super intellectual content are a mut are mutually ex exclusive a lot of the times. Speaking as a YouTube audience member. <laughs> That's such a good bit. Uh, super intellectual, yes. Mmm. Yes. YouTube, mmm. Max, here's the Tauli reaction when you went live. Can you DM it to me? Uh, links don't work in chat. On Twitch. <clears throat> I'll type my Twitch name. Why did I just type my Twitch name? It is extremely obvious what my Twitch name is. I typed a fucking dot in my YouTube chat. Oh, at least you could, like, click my name and hit whisper. That might be a lot easier. <laughs> that's pretty fucking stupid. Uh, oh, that's good. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm going to delete guard. Right? I feel like we all in, we we are all under the impression it's a bad bit, right?
All right, cool. We're on the same page then. You guys see? You guys see little baby Reptar? He's got his uh, his favorite. I think it used to be a pelican. He really likes the uh. He likes the like harder toys to like really chew on. Like he's got that little banana next to him, but he doesn't. I think that one's a noodle actually. He'll chew on that thing all day though. No, guys, you don't have to do last spam. I'm not going to delete it. I'm not going to delete it. Guys, you would riot in the streets. Did you end up DMing me the uh, the thing, by the way? There's my Okay, here, let's see it. Oh, you know what I could really do, actually? I could play footage of me in alpha on my stream so it appears that I'm playing alpha. It would be a viewership hack. The only problem with doing this is my chat will stop being funny and an interactive thing, and it will start just being a bunch of people coming in and saying, wait, are you an alpha? And I know what kind of effect I'll be having on everyone else's stream because every other streamer is going to have people be like, alpha is up. You don't know? Wait, Max is in. You know, It's just going to ruin my chat. All right, anyways, here's the tally clip. There's Max. Up, oh, beta's coming. Or Alpha's coming up. Let's go. If Max, Max is online, we got it going. Where did this narrative start? This is fucking fake news. Like he he is the person that knows shit. This has been known. How is he so confidently saying this? What like what what is the like who? Where, where did, like, when did anything happen to support this information? There's Max. Up. Oh, beta's coming, or Alpha's coming up. Let's go. Wait, if so Max is online, we got it going. All right, let's see what his chat's saying during this. I wonder if his chat's, like, Max is, yeah, look at this fucking, what? Max is live. Alpha's Here about to start. Max Finally. is live. 2ST confirmed. Finally. Finally. Fine. Dude, okay, this, is okay, you know what? I'm actually getting one guide and, and an out-of-context clip. You want to know how this is out-of-context? Tally's old as fuck, so he wakes up really early and starts to stream really early. I bet he's, like... I bet he was been up has been up for... Actually, random old chat... chat or, uh... Random... Uh... Flame at Tally there. But, but true. An OG, right? So he's, like... He's pulling up early, and he's been waiting for Alpha for, like, five hours. So... It's when you, at that point you're like, it's like seeing an oasis in the desert, you know. It's not really there. Like he knows that I don't actually know when Alpha's coming up, but like he's willing to believe anything because he's been up for so long. He's been live for seven hours already. That's I didn't even know that, but I'm right, right? That has to be what this is. He's literally it's a mirage, bro. He's, Finale. Listen, he even sounds yeah. like he's he's delirious. Yeah. So, so, so someone gave him the, the signal. No. Someone gave him the signal. That's not true. You 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 are you are safe to log in now. Making all of this up. Right? Just completely made up. All of it. It's all good though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Making shit up goes yeah, hard. 11, 11 a.m. confirmed. No, not confirmed. It's way you know, past Max, that. Max knows all those fucking developers, bro, that are. No, I fucking don't. You know ten times more people Working at Blizzard than me. He knows what's up. I don't. He knows uh, what's that guy's name? Scarzard and shit. He's like good. One person. Is with that dude. One. They, they 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 know the dealio. Dude, I like this bit that like I've mentioned Scarzard before. I've like hung out with Scarzard a few times. I wish people knew how little we talk in general, but then also how little we actually talk about. Wow. <laughs> It's not like a common. There's Max. Up, oh, beta's coming or alpha's coming up. Do you know how weird it would be? Is like if I just hit people up and just, and instantly was just like, "Yo, man, so a hey, fucking rub my hands together." Yo, what's going on the next patch though? <laughs> like, up, let's go. If Max insane. is online. We got it going. Here we go. Finally, finally. He's still, dude. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm the Don. 
I'm the Don. I know everything. Yeah, and then you've seen Growl's title. All right, one second. I got I got to take this up with Growl right now. Respond. Oh, he's playing Plunder? I Ooh, do you guys want to do Plunder duos with Growl while we're waiting? Fake news narrative? Oh, no. Dude, Max, did you just see that awful Plunderstorm game I just played? In? That nah. was the worst shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Might duo if it doesn't come up soon. I get to the last circle and there's six guys and they're all just standing there. Yo, I'm down for some duos. Yeah, okay. If it doesn't come up really soon, I actually want to do it with him. That would be really fun. Dude, I fucking love Plunderstorm, man. Yesterday I did a eight hour alpha stream of constant, constant, uh, like information. Just like my brain was fried, and the only thing I wanted to do was just stream solo Plunderstorm for four hours after that. God, that game fucking owns, dude. You know it's up in three minutes. That's why you ain't going duo. Okay, if, okay. One second. If I knew it was up in three minutes, why have I been live for an hour and ten minutes then? Huh? Put him up. You're fucking wrong. Because I'm dumb? Oh, well, jeez. Okay. You think I got, like, the fucking time wrong or something? Just a yap? Yeah, I do be doing that. I wonder how much yapping I do a week. I actually don't really stream that much. Like, well, I mean, now that Alpha's out, I'm going to be streaming fucking all the time. But, like, I feel like, for you guys who watch my stream, doesn't it feel like I haven't streamed at all for, like, the past three months? I feel like I've I've streamed, like, like three or four days a week, like, at the most. I've been taking a lot of time off. That's something I've learned from doing this longer is that you can, uh, whenever you know there's like not a ton of content, that's like the time you have to take off. Well, I also just did it because I wanted to, but yeah. That's something I like about this stream, to be honest. What, that I don't stream a lot? <laughs> Yeah, man, you know what I love about this stream is when you just fucking don't do it, by the way. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Dude, I literally, my favorite part of the stream is when it just fucking shuts off. Also, I feel like that's one thing that has changed throughout my time streaming is how little effort I give into the ending of my streams has only gone down over time. Like, sometimes I'll just be like, Welp, I'm bored, and then it's just fucking off, and I don't even know if you hear that part. It might cut off before that even goes through. Max, do you have hate watchers? Yeah, everybody's got hate watchers. I don't have Asmin level of hate watchers, but I also am not nearly as big as Asmin. Yeah, any hate watchers in the chat? Yeah, I've seen a lot of me smiles. I used to have a lot more hate watchers when I... In, like, the first expansion I started streaming, but that's because the a larger majority of my chat was Race to World First Enjoyers. And those trended EU. So, like, I was, like, a fucking comic book villain to, like, EU fans for, like, a year and a half. And then, like, over time, my stream got more and more not Race to World First fans. And then that just... And maybe the EU people just got used to me. Like, I just exist now, and it's not, like, an active hate thing. I'm not sure. Wait, Sang came online? No way. Really? Wait, let me just type it here. 
Oh my god, did... Okay, if Sang went live, I feel like Alpha has to be coming up, right? Like, he knows for sure. Sang has been online for a while. I, I think he knows. I think he knows. Oh, let's just bark, by the way. Oh, ruh, 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 ruh. Oh, ruh. Oh, ruh, ruh, ruh. Ruh. Dude, it is the most hype thing to do. Your dogs will instantly stop barking if you, like, passive-aggressively bark at them. Like, you can watch them do it. They'll just be, like, fucking barking and shit, and then you're like, oh, 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 ruh, ruh. And then, and then, and then they're like, they're like, they're like, oh, wait, that does sound fucking stupid. And then they stop. It's crazy. One second. Reptire, Ella Lily, come here. Come here, girl. Come on. Reptar. Oh, he's so big. Come here. Oh, he's such a big boy. Oh, he's so big. That's it. We're just going to hang out. We're just going to hang out with little baby Reptar until, uh... We're going to hang out with little baby Reptar until, uh, it's time for Alpha. Dude, isn't he so fucking cute? Are you the cutest big boy? Alright, go on. I think they just want to yell at people who go by the house. Do you think that's actually what dogs are doing? Like, okay, let's just say someone is walking by your house, just like a person. Do you think if they were speaking in human, they would just be going like, ah, ah, like looking right at them and just fucking screaming? Or would they be like saying something like, hey, stop, or, or like, hi, hello, 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 hello. I think it's way more funny to imagine that they're just screaming at them. <laughs> ah. Just fucking going for it. This is some wild amounts of yapping. What do you want me to do, man? You want me to sit here in silence until Alpha comes up? Alright, let's do a little let's do a little restart. Let's do a little restart. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Little restart. It's not up, chat. Fuck. Duo duos with the cat? Could. Oh, by the way, there was a tweet last night that I didn't know happened. So, I went to bed and I wasn't on Twitter all day and I was thinking... I just typed in Twit. One second. I was... I didn't tweet, like, all day yesterday because I was just live. So I was thinking about just posting something late at night like Alpha is out. Just so I could feel involved. But what I did was I just typed Jesus Christ, man, about the boss's large abdomen. And then, geek! And then I got a couple responses that I didn't understand. <laughs> or where was it? This guy said called it. What do you mean you fucking called it? What are you fucking talking about? Called what? Alright, check this dude's profile. Dude's got a pinned tweet saying, How many times is Max going to reference to her dumpy? And then he responded with one once I did it. How did he know? Oh. Little doorbell ring. Be right back.
YouTube chat, are you with me? You see these guys, right? Amateur. Amateur. So unsophisticated. Not like us. Max, 7% wipe on Firak last night, so we added an extra raid night tonight for two hours. Give me your good vibes, brother. I don't think you're going to kill it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. You'll probably get it. You'll probably fucking shout out your guild, though. All right. Let me finish these eggs. Uh, quick, quick opinion, by the way. Eggs scrambled as an egg variety. What kind of tier? What kind of tier are we looking at here? There's only one tier. It's the W tier, chat is a trick question. It's a W for sure. It's not no over medium for sure. Don't ask Pete about his opinion on eggs. <laughs> Wait, what? What could? Okay, well now I'm interested. What? What could that possibly mean? What is your opinion on how you like your eggs? What's my opinion on how I like my eggs? Ooh, is this a question from your chat? I actually don't really like eggs. That's not even... If I have to eat eggs, it's in some sort of an omelet or like scrambled with a bunch of other stuff. It's just like filler. That's a very normal answer. I never go out of my way to eat eggs. Dorky, that is an extremely normal... Why did you make me ask him that? He did say not to ask him. Yeah, but like... Oh, so you think it's crazy that he doesn't like eggs. That is kind of crazy. I could see not liking eggs because I see some people... It's like a texture thing. And eggs are unironically gross before you cook them in anything, you know? Like, they're just fucking slimy and shit. It's like, why, why is it all orange, you know? I could see that. I could see being a kid. Like, I could see being a kid and seeing an uncooked egg and being a picky eater and then just being like, I'm not going to eat that for the rest of my life. <laughs> and and then you're just stubborn and you're like, no. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Uh, but yeah, egg zone. Dude, were you guys picky eaters when you were kids? I were. I was. I The only vegetable I liked was broccoli. I like all vegetables now. But like, as a kid, I only ate broccoli if I was going to eat any vegetables. I'll, I'll eat anything now. The only thing I don't like now is mushrooms, but not... I'll eat, like, mushrooms that aren't slimy. I just don't like the texture of mushrooms when they're slimy. I don't know how to describe that. It's only texture for me. It's only texture. I don't like slimy mushrooms, and I don't like uh, mustard, like yellow mustard. Dijon's fine. <laughs> yellow mustard is fucking nasty. All right, uh, random quick question. Only numbers in chat. How many glizzies could you hit one sitting if you had to? How many glizzies? I'm not talking like Joey Chestnut, like dipping in water and shit. I'm just talking like eating like normal. Five. Yeah, I think five four is uh, like reasonable. I'm talking with the bun too. Easily slam five with the bun. Actually, I don't know. I've I don't know if I could do that. So like actually how I used to eat like for most of my adult life actually was I had like two huge meals a day. 
and I like ate bigger portions because of that. And now I eat like five to six times a day in much, much smaller uh, portions. Uh, and that is, uh, has that I, 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 I doubt my ability to eat a lot of food in one sitting now because I just haven't done it in, in months. I eat one massive meal a day. Bro, that's the gamer special. That is the gamer special. Is just is just only eating once and just eating a shitload of food. Lillian. No. Yeah, I know you're sweet. Yeah, you're a dog. Yeah, you're a dog. You can't even see her on the camera right now. Can you see her at full screen? Oh, no, she's, like, hiding. If I move my hand, you'll see her. Because she moves her head... She moves her head onto where she gets pet. If you stop petting her, she'll be like, Hold up. Wait a fucking goddamn second. <laughs> Where'd that thing go? Refresh check. All right, refreshing for alpha. Hold. Hold. One second, Lily. I gotta type some shit in. Hold. Nope. Download manager? Nope. I already did. I have downloaded one thing. Again, if you guys have your battle net open right now, give it a quick reset and check for this thing. Like, I... I you know, I'm... I, I was told that, like, the people who were part of the thing would have alpha access, so I trust that I would have it. Um, and here is a screenshot of what was in my download thing earlier. It was initializing, like, your download manager, like this, right here. My download manager earlier had, had this in there. So, like, restart your Bnet and see if you get this. This doesn't mean you don't have it, but, like, uh, I know other people that are supposed to have Alpha, and they have gotten the same thing, so. I think that's because you already had it installed, so it was, like, updating or something. Yeah, but I never played it on this battle net. So, the, the, how we played Alpha was they gave us these Blizzard accounts that had it specifically added. And they had gave us like a password for them, and we can't go on those accounts anymore. So it was never on this battle net. But you're right, it is on my computer. Wait, doesn't that mean if it's on my computer, doesn't it <laughs> wait, hold the fuck up. Can't I just launch this bitch from from the thing? I got the goddamn EXE, right? No, I, I think it's a central launcher now. Isn't it? Oh no, it isn't. It's probably encrypted. We're about to goddamn find out. Clicking button. Okay. Okay, I press the EXE and it's making me log in normally. Connecting, and then it's asking me for an authenticator code. Uh, I guess I could get one of those. Let's see. All right, I have one of these. Let's type it. Oh. Uh, I don't think it's working. It's just pulling up with the, the PTR realms. And it's saying it's incompatible, obviously. It doesn't even show the alpha realms. It just doesn't do anything. Unfortunate. I will give you some some stuff to watch while we're waiting. Do 
You guys can see me become a conduit of the Celestials here. Which is me literally changing to it mid-dungeon, binding it, and then pressing it immediately for no reason. <laughs> Max, do it with P. All right, do you guys? Okay, quick poll. Quick poll. What do we do until alpha up? Yep. Do it with P. The price is right. Ooh, the price is right is actually... Uh... An interesting idea, actually. I'm going to explain it one more time just because it's kind of a different idea. And I know a lot of you guys weren't here the day we did it or when I explained it yesterday. But really cool uh, a company that I was working with that acquired uh, like licenses to some old Prices Right episodes and is going to soon be Family Feud. And it's like set up for Twitch chat specifically to like co-watch it and guess on the uh the amount and like it does like a leaderboard in chat there's like really charismatic characters i don't know we've found it a lot of fun to watch that and then also it shows like the inflation price after you guess the prices from the 70s it's fucking it was it was extremely fun like i started it with like 6000 viewers and i ended with 5000 which is insane right like let's just say i had six thousand viewers and i started a sponsored stream which it kind of looked like a sponsored stream so i think it took turned people off even though it wasn't usually you're by the end of like doing that much time it would go down by like half or more it was it like retained its viewership from something very interesting YouTube took it down for some reason. Uh, not some reason. They took it down because I'm stupid. Uh, on Twitch, it doesn't work like this, but on YouTube, it's much more serious where they have bots scrolling for DMCA copyright shit. And uh, I had, I signed a contract to get that stuff sub-licensed to me, but on YouTube, you have to get your channel pre-approved for it, and I didn't do that. Uh, so it was my fault that that went down. Someone send this list to Tally and say that Max is playing Alpha. I think Tally would know that it's not Alpha because he's literally in this group. Uh, as you could see, where he had A-bombs limb up before a bunch of blobs spawned. And they all give up the boss and absorb. And he gave the boss a absorb for over 40 million damage. As you see me hovering it over here, halfway over right there at 19 million. Is that recount? <laughs> yep, good old recount. Trusty recount always always works in new alphas and stuff because it's such a basic add-on. My my only suggestion if you guys are in alpha by the way, I mean if you're grouping with people you know, I think that's fine. But, like, if you have recount in a group, don't link it unless people want it. Like, like some people on Alpha are just trying to see how stuff feels. They don't want to, like, be going into a random dungeon trying to, like, fucking pop off and pump, you know? Like, I, I have recount specifically for the reason of seeing how much damage and how impactful certain new hero talents and new talent changes are. I wouldn't, like... Don't turn it... Like, there is something nice about Alpha for people that are just, like trying to get a feel for the game and they don't want to feel like they're on a clock you know who the fuck is linking recount and alpha yeah actually yeah imagine that you just like finish a dungeon you're like hey guys by the way what's up <laughs> link link recount leave group <laughs> that would be insane That's an assert dominance move. All right, so how did the poll end, by the way? Yap won. It was pretty close, though, right? We like yapping. But also, yapping gets harder the longer we go, so we might have to... Uh... 
We could we could do some duos later. I haven't actually played with Pete. I've killed Pete a few times. Uh, I found Pete in that uh, Plunderstorm tournament, and he ran into the gas instead of died to me. Didn't like that one bit. So Price is Right is out. <laughs> I don't want to do that because you have to change category. I don't, I don't want to do that. I love this dungeon, man. I love this dungeon. I'm so sad this dungeon won't be in the first dungeon rotation. I think this dungeon is a masterpiece. I think they should change it. First Mythic Plus season, I think this dungeon needs to be in it. It's too good. The most people play at the beginning of expansions. Max's dungeon didn't make the season one cut because it's B tier. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab something. I'll be back in a few minutes. I gotta recover from that. Be right back. All right. Dude, what if Blizzard just didn't even release Alpha today? But then you'd have to ask yourself the question of why would I be live? Right? I know all. You linked recount right after you left? Yeah, because someone asked for it. <clears throat> I, a lot of people didn't know you could get recounts, so I was linking people's breakdowns. What do you think? <laughs> 
<laughs> Just slam it. <laughs> Max, did you ever find Destructo again? No. Dude, that's my favorite thing to do in Plunderstorm solos. Is to, like, just go through the whole lobby, shred, like, 15 people. And then you get to the end, and you find some, like, lost level 4 or 5 running around, not really sure what they're supposed to do. And then you just try to protect them from all the people trying to kill them. Uh, Max, wait, it only goes to 74, but you have the whole tree unlocked? Yes, so there's a feature on this alpha, and I don't know if it'll be in tomorrow, but it was in during the other testing. And what it does is if you just immediately want to test the hero talents, it will level your character to 71. It will give you every single hero talent, but then it will give you a 20% debuff to make up for the fact that you have like an entire hero talent tree. Wait, what? What are, did I did I randomly say tomorrow? Why are you guys all spamming tomorrow? Did they announce this tomorrow or something? What happened? From you. Oh, I didn't mean to say tomorrow. Dude, just imagine. Imagine I I actually know it's tomorrow, but I stream all day today just just fucking yapping. Nothing's happening. And then what happens if it gets delayed? And then... <laughs> and then it's actually right. Hmm. 5D chess, guys. Your dream stream? It is really. I just like to yap. Actually, right now, I don't want to yap. I want to play Alpha a lot. I really want to play Rider the Apocalypse more today. I want to play... Uh... There was, I wanted to play, ah, man, I haven't played Mage in a long time, but I wanted to play Sun, that Sun Fury thing looked like the most fun thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, I, I, I kind of want to play uh, Dev Evoker too and like triple disintegrate shit. Max, is there more content on this version or the alpha when you content creators played? I have no idea. I have no idea what's on this alpha build. I think someone on Wowhead said that there's a... I saw Squishy tweeted last night that they pushed a new alpha build last night, but I'm sure if anything was on there, it would have been data mined. Maybe it was. I, I, I'm not sure. Preheat has some footage from that. Oh, dude, I want to see that, actually. I want to see what Mass Integrate looks like. Um, YouTube preheat. Hands-on devastation evoker. Uh, please tell me you have timestamps. Show me the mass ED. I want to see it. How does it spawn again? Is it right after you dragon rage? Or it's after you use a, uh, it's the next disintegrate after, oh, there's only one, mo there's only one mob. It's right after using an empower ability, it does it, right? So he should be able to disintegrate right now. And it, yo, you can see it! Oh. And then he eternity surges. He does it literally 30 seconds into the video. <clears throat> oh my god. Incredible. Max, IMO, Plunderstorm should now be the main WoW version. <clears throat> I'm such a fan of Plunderstorm. I, and now that they have, like, an ability set, I feel like they've done all the heavy lifting. Plunderstorm, for me, if every season, not even at the beginning of the season, by the way, like, that halfway point in the season when, like, the ladder slows down in PvP, when, like, people stop queuing Mythic Plus because they're like, well, I'm just going to wait, like, a couple more weeks to push. I'm waiting for a push week. Raider, some, a lot of the Raiders have already cleared. You've either only you're doing AOTC and you're done. Or you've done cutting edge already, or like you've done normal, whatever. You're done with the world content of the patch. And then it's just like Plunderstorm map. New Plunderstorm map. Maybe mix and match abilities a little bit. 
God, I fucking love Plunderstorm. <clears throat> but although I, I'm, I am like engineered in a lab to like Plunderstorm, though. <clears throat> My two favorite game genres have been World of Warcraft and Battle Royale games. Then it's the mixture of those, and it's really well made. I definitely understand why a lot of people don't like it, though. Did you see the Zorbrix tweet? <clears throat> nope. Please give energy. Take. Most people who hate Plunder just heard Asmund say it's stupid and that's about it. Didn't Asmund like Plunder? You know what's funny? Asmund... Asmin could have said a bunch of really, really good things about Blunderstorm, and then someone will ask him one thing, and he'll say one negative thing about it, but that's what his YouTube editors will put on YouTube, and then that's officially, in quotes, his opinion. Uh, but yeah, the uh, <clears throat> I know why people didn't like Blunderstorm. And by the way, I actually think a lot of people not liking Blunderstorm is not unreasonable or that they're wrong. I think a lot of people play WoW basically as a single-player game, and I think Blizzard knows this. Why do you think they made Follower Dungeons? Why, why do you think they made Dells, right? Uh, not only do people not play with other people a lot, which Plunderstorm kind of encourages, you got more plunder by playing in duos, but also people just don't like PvPing in any game. Like, there are people who play WoW that would never even think about playing a game where you fight other players. Just a, just a vibe they don't like. So that's it. There's just that. I think there's an aversion to PvP at all for the majority of WoW players. And I'm not talking PvE raiders, I'm talking like the average WoW player, the person that doesn't do almost any of that content. And then there's another thing... Blizzard kind of hyped it up as like, oh, there's like this pirate flag and, you know, it's on the roadmap. And what is this mysterious thing? We're not going to test it. You guys are just going to play it when it comes out. And then, I don't know. Imagine you're someone who likes farming stuff in the game and you like playing your WoW character. And imagine you log on and it's like, oh, wait, you can't do anything on your WoW character. It's the separate game mode. I could see being it being completely reasonable to feel let down by that i don't think that's being unreasonable at all um and yeah but so i don't know like if, you, if you're if you're just and then and then the, there's one part of it that i don't quite get there's one bit of complaining that i found kind of interesting and that's that i hate this game mode so much but i'm just going to force myself to play it to 40 for rewards that much was interesting because like I don't know. Like, let's just say I really wanted rewards from PvP, but I either wasn't good at it or didn't like it. I would just be like, okay, I just won't get that. And then and then that's just the end of it. You know, it's over. I, I don't care. Uh, but, like, people felt obligated to... The, I think the reason it was disliked so much is usually if, if Blizzard makes some content and it's not for you, you can just be like, oh, I'm just not going to do this thing, and then that's okay. You know, they're not always, it's impossible for them to, everything they're going to do, they're going to make is for me, as much as I would want that. But it's the fact that they hated it so much for all the reasons I already described, but they felt like they had to do it for rewards. So they, it like, they hated it on a fucking deep level. And then I think Blizzard made an interesting mistake, and I don't know if it could have been avoided, and that's that they didn't announce what this thing was for a long time. And then they announced it right before an eight hour maintenance so people just had eight hours and you know how the wow community reacts to any new information they just had eight hours to just completely pick this thing apart uh before they ever even tried it and i think that actually mattered a lot too like i think if you could just jump in and play it it would have completely changed the narrative like it was in like again it might not be your thing and that wouldn't have changed for a lot of people but that doesn't change the fact that it was extremely well made played thousands of hours of br games it is incredibly well made uh so yeah i i uh i don't know i hope they do more stuff like that for sure even though you know a lot of the stuff they make in the game isn't quite for me delves being almost certainly one of them I, I think that shit's awesome.
number one mistake is that it's not free to play. I disagree with that, actually. So I think wanting it to be free to play, and I asked them this in an interview, was was kind of misunderstanding the point. So if you've understood in Dragonflight what they've done differently. So they recently started talking about their sub numbers at conventions, and it's been a talking point. It came out like a month ago. Uh, they have done more to retain your sub in Dragonflight than they've ever done. Usually what happens is they release a bunch of content, and then six months later, you get new content. There was no 10.0.5.7 Plunderstorm, new spec coming out in the middle of the expansion. None of that shit. It was like, you, you they were like almost encouraging you to drop your sub and do other stuff. Now they try so much harder to give you something every month to retain your sub. So you have to, so from like a business perspective of Blizzard, clearly they're trying to prevent churn which is uh, like the loss of subscribers. You want to have that number keep going up or limit its uh, the people canceling subs. So what they've done in Dragonflight as like a huge point of emphasis is they've wanted to give you more content every month to keep you logging in. That's why we get extra patches now and more content. Uh, like I, I think that's true in Dragonflight. Like I think in Dragonflight, within the first year of Dragonflight, we got more content than we've ever gotten before. We got a raid and like a full season at the beginning we got 10.0.5 10.0.7 tons way more class shooting than we've ever gotten 10.1 10.1.5 10.1.7 and 10.2 we got three raids in one calendar year and like five mini patches which is fucking insane right and they came out with the trading post why does the trading post exist why do you think it comes out at the beginning of the month right oh well maybe i was gonna unsub this month but mm, maybe there's some cool trading post rewards you want clearly that's that's their goal right so when you look at plunderstorm why is it not free to play people are like oh this thing's so good the biggest mistake is that it's not free to play what you're assuming is they used plunderstorm to get battle royale players to try to play retail wow for the first time but that's completely missing the point if you look at the way that they've made a lot of their other decisions it's at least obvious to me that the reason that mop remix is on the sub and plunderstorm is on the sub is because they're just literally trying to make your sub more valuable so you are less likely to cancel it if it was free to play then it wouldn't affect your ability to either keep your sub or resub to the game at all uh it's just uh their their entire business plan for this expansion has been that that's why it wasn't free to play Let's see, new Wowhead post covering new models. Ooh! Why a limited time event then, though? So, if you've ever played, and this is kind of a niche thing that you probably haven't experienced, if you've ever played a Battle Royale when they die, or when they start getting less popular, they, like, it snowballs. Because... People aren't just queuing the same lobby. They're maybe queuing duos or trios or solos. Or in other games, it's like third person and first person. So it's split into like six different queues. And then games just start taking 30 minutes to form. And then you can't actually play a game. Uh, so I think their idea with limited time, number one, is that it was an experiment. Number two, if something like that were to exist for five months, I could easily see four months from now, no one queuing for Plunderstorm. And you can't basically not even play it at all. So why does it exist? So something like that kind of makes sense to be in a limited time format. So w at least during that time, you're going to have queues constantly and they can like f actually focus on that content instead of just having it just kind of be there like a lot of other things have withered and died. Uh, I, I, I think limited time makes a lot of sense. Uh, but I do think that limited time did lead them to get a ton of... Uh, negative feedback as well right especially in regards to rewards like think about it if i don't loot invincible today when i go do icc i can do it for the next infinite amount of time right eventually it probably should drop so even though i don't have this really cool reward that i want i can get this thing um but in plunderstorm <clears throat> you, you the reason that so many people felt obligated that they had to do this thing, even if they didn't, weren't sure they exactly wanted it, is because, oh, well, it was going away, so you have to do it. <laughs> and now it's weird, because they're, they're doing a double rep thing, which is smart, because if they extended it, <clears throat> I, I think it would have been a huge mistake, right? Like, why would you extend the six weeks if you already took all the heat 
for it being limited time in the first place, you know? Because, <laughs> like, that made people feel so anxious. And then people would be like, okay, I was anxious for no fucking reason. Now I'm even extra mad. Yeah, so... Hydrate reminder. Yo, good shout. <clears throat> Water check, boys. Ty Ty Killers in chat. Giga Chad. <clears throat> yeah, he is a Giga Chad. I met him at the PoE2 event. He's a huge chat. He almost beat me up just because I looked at him wrong. <clears throat> yeah, real, true. Uh, WoW is better when everyone has something to do. <clears throat> yeah, true. But it also is really hard to give, like, it's really hard for them to sift through feedback because the reality is, is the player base is pretty segmented now into what they want. You have PvP, you have PvE, even within each of those subsets, you have people that like specific things. You have people that hate and love solo shuffle threes. You have people who love Mythic Plus, hate raiding, vice versa. Uh... The reality is anytime you're going to make some cool experimental game mode, which was definitely a success with Plunderstorm and this remix thing, you're just going to always have a large amount of people disappointed with you because everyone, if they're being completely honest, wants any new content to be made to be something that they can enjoy. And the reality is, is that people want so many different things from WoW, Retail WoW now, that it's kind of impossible to make a single thing that everyone fucks with. It's pretty rare. Uh, so to give some love to anyone means that some other people are going to feel like they're left out. And if you wonder why, it's probably a 20-year-old game problem more than anything else, to be honest with you. But if you wonder why people are frequently negative, that's the main reason. Max, you did not check out Preheat Sun Fury gameplay. Sure did. I did, I did, I did do that. Uh, someone said, let's see, there is new NPC models. Is this something we already read yesterday? Actually, I don't think we saw the NPCs. We saw the mounts, though, and a couple of the, like, boss guys. Wait, that guy's a fucking beast! Okay, yes or no? If I was transported into WoW, could I 1v1 this uh, Giga Chad Kobold guy? With no powers or anything. Alright, every single one of you who answered no is wrong, by the way, but we're moving on. All good. All good. It's fine. Everyone's wrong sometimes. All right. Frozen Nerubian. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys are all wrong. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay to be wrong. They call me the Eldrachi. It's whatever. Um, Monstrosity. Pitlord Torso. Wait. Look at Robot. <laughs> it's just called Robot. Remember Boat from yesterday? Love Boat. Give Boat. Wait, he's kind of cute. Look at him. Look at this little guy. Hello. He's a little mud skipper. Hello. What the fuck? Is that just one giant can, like... Kobold want candle gone wrong? That thing looks fucking hellish. Okay. But dude, some of these Kobold delves are gonna go crazy. How come this one's candle's thick as shit? Wait, let's see what these are called. It's literally... Okay, it's not literally called Chad Kobold. That's that's a candle people. That That is a, a Wowhead title. That's just his candle. Coreway Repair Rig. Cricket! Don't say it. Okay. Geek! Uh, there's... Deep water co cobis fishman fish fish ooh this one looks sick that's a really cool model 
This one looks ex looks super cool, doesn't it? This one. Wait, they wait. They're like ramping. Did they, they like evolve or some shit? Like this is the first one, and then it evolves a little bit, and then it goes crazy. Does it go? Does it ramp even higher? Do they keep going? Okay, no. Deep Lasher Orchid. Deviant Garden. Those are kind of cool. Earthen Stone Elemental. Earthen Golem. Earthen Giant. That looks like a boss I never want to do again. Kind of. Little Bone Maw vibes. Wait, no, that's the last boss of that dungeon we did, I'm pretty sure. Firefly, Grub. Oh, God. It's a... <laughs> Hello, mate. Are you a children? Hit the skip. Hit the skip. Wait, actually, I'm pretty sure this model is the one that does the skip, by the way. No, it's it's the Blood Elf kid that does the skip, right? But it might be the same. Kobolds. Oh, this guy's got two candles. He's he's uh he's changing the meta. Light undead. Lynx. Oh hello. Cat. Hello, cat. Wait, this is the this is the mole from the mole rat. Let's go, mole. Nerubian Fighter, Nerubian Hulk, Proto Ram. We already saw those. Oh, no, I think those are new. Wait, Earthen Sheep? Earthen Sheep? Now, that's interesting. So, do they have wool? I mean, it looks like they have... Meh. <laughs> Max, hear me out. No, I'm not going to fucking hear you out, dog. Queensguard and Jack. Shadow Elemental. Slimes. Slime Giants. Snoot Snout. That's got to be a boss of some kind. I think we've seen a lot. No, some of these were mounts, right? Ooh, very spider. Oh, I don't like the look of those at all. All right, hit and play again. Let's get it. Max, wait, will you play alpha today? Man, I sure hope so. The trick is I actually know when it's going live. And no one else does, apparently. So that's crazy. Max, check general chat. Craziest animation of all time. What? What? I need to highlight this animation, by the way. That's what that fucking mob does when it runs at you? That's cool as fuck. That's sick. Dude, if you can somehow, like, sky mirror or make a toy turn you into this guy... This is going to be the best, like, running slash walking animation of all time. <laughs> that thing's flip-flopping. Dude, I feel... I'm so cooked, chat. I'm even thinking about playing Shadow Priest for, like... The first time in a very long time. Because Void Weaver looks so fun. But... I'm probably wrong. I've seen the way that Shadow Priest can be. And I can't do that.
don't that's just what Frank wants bro Frank is a fake shadow priest i don't think he's played shadow like this entire expansion Is there no in-game sound? Oh, uh, this is just a VOD. I'm just... I'm trying to live vicariously through myself in the past right now. This was only a couple days ago, but I never thought I'd miss it as much. Fucking let me in. How is it possible to be level 4 within 15 seconds of a plunderstorm? Uh, there's a few ways. It's like landing on a good ability, using your barrel to round up like 15 mobs, and then just killing all of them. Maybe maybe a little goldy chest in there too. You checked out Triple Disintegrate from Preheat, not Sun Fury. I watched Sun Fury yesterday. Fucking relax. I'm not doing it. I don't like... Don't fucking tell me what to do. You know what I mean? I don't like that. Look at that shit. I ain't gonna do it. Well, then you could tell me to not look at Sun Fury, and then I would have to. Oh. Okay, I think I might actually do it with Growl. Like, there's there's a realistic scenario, I guess, where this takes, like, a while to come up. And, like, I just... I don't know. I need to, like, take my mind off of it, you know? We already talked about Alpha all day yesterday. Windwalker looks hella fun. Yeah, it's currently not working properly either. I wonder if they'll fix this in the uh, in the alpha build they did last night, but there's one massive problem, and that is that Expel Harm is one of the biggest changes to Monk on the uh, on Alpha is that you no longer cast Expel Harm as Windwalker. It casts automatically when you press Tiger's Tiger Palm. Uh, so this is one of the biggest gameplay feel changes, and it's really hard to get an actual feel for it because it's not working like it just isn't casting automatically so uh so right now it's impossible to tell how that would actually feel what if i want to use expel harm to heal uh one thing they're definitely looking to do in the war within is button is classes that have an obscene amount of buttons especially ones that are not direct like directly tied to your main core rotation which like expel harm is but like it also, you could argue, it kind of shouldn't be. Um, they're trying to, like, remove that. So, they can remove Dampen Harm from this class. But they, like, they removed Dampen Harm from Windwalker. But they also shifted its power into Fort Brew. Like, Fort Brew is much better than it was before. So, like, you just have less, like, less buttons that are not core rotational being removed from almost, like, all classes in the game is probably good. Uh, especially defensively in Micro CC. Um, I, I... I'm, I'm going to hold out hope. I think it's a good idea. And if you're going to talk about classes that could use some less buttons, Windwalker offensively is definitely one of them. Uh, so I, I'm waiting to see. Because, like, you're, you're playing it and it sounds bad. I think the main thing that sounds bad initially is, like, okay, do you want to, like, not break your mastery? So sometimes, like, even Tiger Palm, Expel Harm, Tiger Palm is nice because, like, you can just build up a lot of chi, chi quickly. You can still do that. You just have one less little micro global. And it's more energy efficient. Uh, like, when you press Tiger Palm, an Expel Harm will happen after. And then you can press Tiger Palm again without doing your mastery because you technically cast an ability in between your last Tiger Palm, if that makes sense. The issue is that's just not happening on beta. Uh, from what I could tell, it would feel fine because I was messing around with a few talents to make my energy economy a little bit more friendly. And I only was doing that because Expel Harm wasn't there. But also, it's kind of healthy for Windwalker if your energy economy isn't super, uh, like, free, right? Like, part of the issue right now in live is that you can have zero haste at max level and play Windwalker properly and never have energy or chi problems. Now, that 
that just means that you'll never scale off haste whatsoever. And, well, I mean, you scale a little bit because it, like, reduces the cooldowns of a couple of your abilities. But, like, that doesn't matter because you're not st starved for globals, right? So, it ends up not mattering. You can tune your class to be relevant no matter what. But you want to be a situation where haste actually somewhat benefits you. And they also added it to Fist of Fury scaling. Again, I'm hoping this all works out. But, like, the idea behind it makes sense. You don't... Windwalkers, if you've played Windwalker, you know the feeling of starting every patch great and then being bad at the end of the next at the end of that patch and hoping for a buff at the beginning of the next one because everyone else is dealing with scats and you're not. This is a way to fix that uh by making haste actually valuable. So But also, it's going to be interesting with stats now, too, because wisdom, one of the monk's things, Shadow Pan, Wisdom of the Wall, gives you, like, a giga buff to all of your stats, but it's, like, kind of all of them equally, except for Haste, I think. And then, uh, Connor of the Celestials gives you CDR when you proc Yulon. It's going to be interesting to see how all that plays out, for sure. Uh, Max, how are you doing twice the damage than everyone else? Or are you just built different? Yeah. Monk's also really strong. But yeah, definitely, definitely Diffy. They call me Bill. Is this pre-recorded footage? Yeah, right now I'm just letting this play while I'm yapping. You also were his hammer dunker. Oh, dude, let's watch some hammer dunker gameplay, actually. You, you fucking, you said those magic words. Hammer dunk. For he will dunk it. Amen. You're about to see dunking happening on this next bull. Check your launcher. I just got added to mine. All right, random Twitch chatter I've never seen before. Why not? I'll try it. You're certainly not making that up. I'll, dude, I'll use any excuse to retry. Let's go. Nope. Wait, checking the downloads thing again? Nope. Oh my god, look at the hammer dunking. Oh my god, look at the dunk. So good. I think we actually wipe here. <laughs> or no, I, maybe it was the other dungeon where we did it. Show people the water tech. It's at the end of the next dungeon. I showed them yesterday. Also, Tally, fucking, wait, hold, fucking, back the fuck up a second. When I went live today, you were like, all right, guys, Alpha's coming up, Max knows, bro, you know this, you know infinitely more than I do, and you know more people than me, but you're out here acting like, like I, I got the fucking sauce. That's not true. That's not, that's not right. It's made up. You got the sauce, man. It's so beautiful. Look at Hammer Dunker casting Redemption long after they've been rezzed. That's commitment. No one left behind. Quick shout about a... Uh personal resource display whatever can you still not do this can you not like in edit mode can you not separate your holy power like shouldn't you be able to just like move your holy power like here you know you can put it on your target
Like, it's, it's on your personal resource display, but, like, there's some problems with this. If I move my camera, this personal resource display will end up under these buttons, and I can't see it. Maybe I'll sh Maybe I can give you an example of that happening. It's on one of these poles for sure. Oh, look at the hammer. Look at their HP. I just pressed the hammer. Ready? Watch. I'm going to play it. Pause. Here comes the hammer coming down. Pfft. How hard did that hit? Like 900k or something? Holy shit. Holy shit. What is it? I don't like the weird camera float thing on the personal resource display. Yeah. Again, default UI. It's so close to being like 98% as good as what you can do with add-ons. It's just missing a few main things. You need to be able to customize your personal resource display more. It's actually really good, but like you can't actually choose what shows up here with these numbers. It would be better to put whatever procs you want up here. That'd be super helpful. Uh, the default nameplates are sensationally dog shit. Uh, like how much better, like you have to talk about how much better, like what add-ons people use and like why they're so much better than default WoW stuff. For most classes, this little setup I have on default UI right here is like almost as good as a weak aura setup you could have. It's perfectly fine. Like your buttons right here, sick. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, even your health bar is fine. Uh, you can make it way bigger if you want. The big issue that WoW needs to fix is Plater is 10 times better than WoW nameplates. They need to just make WoW nameplates way more customizable in so many ways. Um, and your buff and debuff tracking. Like one of the best things about about weak auras is you don't have to look through a bunch of meaningless buffs. You can just have the buffs you want to see pop up somewhere with their spell ID. If you want to have a specific debuff be highlighted or something, you should be able to do that within WoW. It's really helpful. There's a lot of debuffs that aren't relevant. So, uh, like, I think if WoW could do anything with their UI, it is definitely in order. Nameplates is, like, top priority. Second priority is quality buff and debuff management with the default UI. And in my opinion, third would be the customization of your personal resource display or the ability to split your uh, resources from your main health bar and put them wherever you want. Default raid frames are pretty nice for healing. Yeah, I would, I think like two of our five healers use default. Default name or default raid frames are like very good. Party and and uh, raid frames are very good. They have been for a long time too. New official video about Warbands is out. Ooh, made up? Oh, I forgot about him. What a nice surprise. Blizzard Warbands preview video. Currency sharing Warband. Oh, hell yeah. Perfect content while we're... Oh, War it's only three minutes. Wait, is this going to be anything we don't already know? More than half of World of Warcraft players play two or more characters. In the upcoming expansion, The War Within, the entire character roster is leveling up with Warbands, a new account-wide progression and collection system. When a player first logs into The War Within, they'll... By the way, the, the, we were talking about how to make the Warbands like a little cooler, and we mentioned how for certain achievements every patch, they should give you a new background to your... Uh, Warband. I, someone can quote me if I'm wrong, but in a Q and A we had with them, I believe they said they don't currently have plans for that. I think they should start making plans for that immediately. 
I think that is such free and easy content. Just yoink that shit from... Yeah, yeah, Lost Ark does this, yeah. Uh, it just seems seems like easy. Like, you get Cutting Edge, you get uh, Gladiator, you get KSM, you did the patches meta achievement. You know what I mean? Like, just... There's so many. You could do, you could do like, five or six a patch, you know? Be presented with the new oh wait, Ian said in an interview they plan on it. Oh, never mind, I made it up. New character selection screen. Here, players can assign up to four of their favorite characters, Horde and Alliance alike, to be displayed in front of a World of Warcraft themed scene. All characters on a player's respective account, regardless of what server they're on, are considered Show part cursor? of the warband All right. and combined into a single convenient list. Gone are the days of players oh, mailing gone. precious resources between their characters. In the War Within, there is a new dedicated bank tab for sharing all non soul bound items among a player's roster. Hundreds of inventory slots can be literally hundreds, but Wowhead just post the 500th spot that costs the most ramping gold uh, just to incite chaos Unlocked in the across community. Multiple bank tabs purchasable with gold, or that a player mines on one character can be put into the bank tab and then be used by another character to create an armor set through their blacksmithing profession. By leveraging the expertise of a player's entire warband, crafting and leveling up profession skills are now more efficient. As players complete quest lines and gain factions trust, they will be earned. Although, I do think Blizzard does deserve to be flamed for like the infinite scaling gold cost thing, because I, I still think some people don't remember this. But in Battle for Azeroth, to encourage you to collect new Azerite armor pieces for different specs, they gave a ramping respec cost for changing your Azerite spec, like what they were uh, set to. So if you were someone who tanked and healed, or unfortunately tanked DPS and healed, like a Nori was in our guild, um, it would keep infinitely scaling. And at some point, Nori couldn't actually play different character, or couldn't play different specs on either his Paladin or his Monk. Because the respec cost, and I hope, I wonder if I still have a picture of it, I don't know if I do, but it was, uh, I believe the number was somewhere around six to seven million gold to respec one Azerite piece to a different spec. And you had three of them. Yeah, it was, it was insane. I mean, there's absolutely no reason it should have ever gotten to that point. ...a variety of different currencies. In the War Within, many currencies are no longer locked in the... Oh, wait, I've never seen this picture before. All right, can we talk about something real quick? So, uh, they've already announced that Flight Stones are coming back in, uh, or they announced that Flight Stones are called Valor Stones now. Now, I'm not saying that Valor Stones can't be in the game, but whatever, what needs to happen for sure is that whatever the new version of Flight Stones are, you need to either gain significantly more of them, or there shouldn't be a cap... Or, I would just say, for under any circumstances, you should never have enough crests to upgrade something and feel like you have to go do some monotonous, boring content to farm enough Valor Stones to actually spend them. Which also begs the question of, if, you, if I'm asking to have an unlimited amount of Valor Stones to where we're never having to farm them, why do they exist, right? So, either... I think you just juice them entirely, honestly. And I think the reason they haven't done that yet is like, they have a lot of rewards philosophies. And I think something that they're kind of married to is the idea that you can get flight stones from anything. And it's like rewarding you for just playing the game in every way. And they like stuff like that. But if you look at what it's applied to and what it's used for, it's actually just a huge pain. So again, buff the cost, remove the, or buff the amount you get, or the amount it costs to do things with it, remove the cap, or just remove it entirely. That's my take. Wallets of each character and can be transferred across the warband. In addition, flight. Like, bro, if you're looking to upgrade your gear and you have to go farm flight stones, that is a miserable feeling. Flight paths across all of Azeroth are available for all players' characters as soon as they're discovered. 
Less time making the six hour journey on foot from Tenaris to Winter Spring. This is where someone would say some dumbass shit and make up something like the reason it's like that. The reason they've made something that makes their game worse is to artificially inflate game time metrics for shareholders. And more I love when people say shit like that. That is an insane way. bit. As players progress through the war within, they'll come across pieces of gear that are warbound until equipped. These can be sent to and equipped by their other characters. Can you not pause? Here you go. Uh, I'll at you too. Yahomi PJ. Here you go. There's the link. The video is in there. Leave right now and go watch it so you can watch it all the way. Enabling players to increase a warband member's power. However, once equipped, it can no longer be passed around. This essentially allows players to play on one character while potentially gearing up others at the same time. Oh, I love while the idea of this. While adventuring in current or long past content, warbands also make finding and collecting new looks, also known as trends. This is super random. Do you guys think you could voice act like this and make it actually sound interesting? Like, I'm trying to imagine myself voice acting the script this guy was given about this and not sounding like a total fucking dumbass. No longer be passed around. This essentially allows players to play on one character. Like, this dude simultaneously is spitting how the game works, but he sounds like he's in Blue's Clues and he just found out some cool clue. You know? While potentially gearing up others at the same time. Like that. While adventuring in current or long past content, warbands also make finding and collecting new looks, also known as transmogs, easier. Once looted and equipped, oh, look, the a clue. items aesthetics automatically populate to all warband characters who can That's also- That's literally how you talk? I know I fucking wear don't. That armor type. If a player- Actually, I could see it because- Sometimes when I'm just rambling, I ra accidentally ramble onto something I'm interested in, and then my voice does actually kind of modulate into a I'm interested and just found a clue kind of voice because I'm interested in it. Cloth user. I do kind of do that. Transmog run of an older raid and plate gear drops. It's now added to their collection, ready to be applied to any warband member who can don plate armor. The same can be said for follower NPCs like Brand Bronzebeard. Whatever a player finds and equips to Bran is also shared across their entire warband. With what is what is this flame in my chat? Ha, Looney Tunes ass motherfucker. You're basically the wow goofy. What? of warbands. Reputation progress earned what in the war within. What are you guys fucking talking about? Across all their characters, regardless of which one they're playing. For players who adventured through the fucking Dragonflight <laughs> expansion, their account-wide reputation <laughs> level will match the highest level achieved on any of their characters. Achievements like, and Gorsh? we're all out of mana buns, and Gorsh. War Song Gulch Veteran, as well as nearly 2,000 others, will now share progress across warbands. For most of these, existing progress across characters will be combined. If a player's character starts earning progression towards Giot. an achievement, no, I can't, I can't say Giot in a, in a, Whether players are into in a goofy voice, it didn't work. Collecting every transmog, or becoming the strongest around. Warbands introduce new quality of life features to make the most of your time in Azeroth. There's never been a better time than now to assemble a warband and prepare to journey through Khazalgar in the War Within. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Wait, they said war banks make it easier than ever to share resources between characters. But it's not called the war bank, right? It's called the warbound bank. I think they need to cut their losses and change whatever assets they need to do and just call it the fucking war bank because that's just way, way fucking easier. Because I remember in a Q&A over the last few days, I don't know if this was on like an interview, but like, I remember one of them answering that question and being like, I wish everything we could go back and call it a war bank, but like you can <laughs> like calling it a war bound bank is crazy. Like hopefully, hopefully they, they changed that. They said they wanted to. So there goes your Looney Tunes voice again. What guys you get, okay. I'm every, oh yeah, never mind. I, I don't even, I can't even defend against this. Cause you guys are just going to say, I sound like fucking goofy, but like, I'm just talking normally. Fucking yuck. Yuck you, buddy. Ooh, actually interesting. We So if you guys watched the stream over the weekend... Wait, did I do it right there? Okay, I can't help it that when I'm 
genuinely intrigued by something. I sound like a fucking Disney character. I'm just I'm just excited, man. Come on. Gorsh. Um when we did this last weekend, this but I'm trying to stop doing it now. When we did miss last weekend, it was really cool and um, some of the gems were really overpowered, so I'm interested to see if any of the gems have been changed. Is that better? Sound like fucking, fucking monotone, dorky looking ass. Okay. Alright, cold front was super OP though. Uh, now only applies to five allies. Yep, so our entire group ran cold front, and that's why you never saw our health move. And now it's... Oh, shield is now split amongst all allies. Okay, this is turbo ass. I guess healers will actually matter now. Freedom. Now increase avoidance by 20%, and now occurs every 45 seconds. Oh, uh, that wasn't broken. Uh, grounding nerf is good. Life storm, that change is good. Oblivion sphere... Oh, interesting. That's a good change because there was too much crit synergy. And this just makes Oblivion Sphere universally much better. But, I mean, you're still... I feel like if they tune everything, you're just going to use a bunch of Oblivion Spheres because just you can just chain this. Right? Uh, Precipice of Madness reduces party health to 10% was one. Yeah, so if you ran into some random person in LFR who played this, they would just press this and kill everyone. It was super hype. Uh, they buffed stamina increases across the board from your cloak. Oh, that's actually really good because you didn't have enough health. Like, if you didn't, like, like, people were like, oh, this stuff's getting destroyed because everyone was just abusing cold front and a few other absorbs. But the actual reason that you were never dead or, or that you were even able to do the content was because of this. Like, if things actually broke your absorb shield, everything one shot you. Uh, well, a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, Freeze from Iron Quan. Cause a random player to freeze and shatter, detonating on all allies for 38 frost damage instead of 17,400. So just to give you guys an idea of scaling, when we killed Iron Quan in Heroic Throne of Thunder on time running, it hit us for... Uh, it overkilled me by 102 million. It overkilled Mini by 115 million. And it would just happen every, like, 20 seconds. It would just kill someone for 100 times your HP bar. Uh, yeah. 117 mil. Yeah, so. That's good. That, that was the only boss that felt unreasonably bullshit. That being said, I think groups that are not trying very hard will have a significantly difficult time killing Dark Animus on Heroic. It requires positioning for sure. Uh, where the rest, a lot of the other ones you can kind of just do real quick. Like Dark Animus is actually pretty positioning intensive. Do you have a video of you doing the raids? Not a video, but it was like we did it all in one live stream last Saturday. I don't, I don't think it's that interesting though because like so many of the gems were overtuned that we were just like piping the bosses. It was pretty fun, but yeah. Definitely interested in seeing how it works with... Uh, these things being tuned more. No brittle nerf. Actually, yeah, that is kind of interesting. Brittle. Yeah. Max, seeing those raids the way you guys were doing it kind of killed a lot of my hype. I hope it's better balanced. Yeah, the raids need to be better balanced for sure. Like, I think the correct balance on time running is that if you want to kill these bosses on Heroic, which, by the way, doesn't give you anything of value, really, like, and that's intended, which means you can make it somewhat interesting, none of it should take you a ton of time. But I think the exact time it should take to kill every boss is once you as a group have, like, kind of figured out how you're supposed to kill the boss, and then you kill it, if that makes sense. You don't have to perfectly execute the mechanics i think that's asking too much in that period of time doing fucking five raids or whatever it is but I, you should not have to execute it perfectly but at least understand what the boss is trying to do before it dies 
on the PTR, you didn't, that's not even close to what happened. You just, they were all just, they just got shit on. There's achievements for doing them all. Yeah, but they, they don't give you a ton of crazy rewards. All the rewards are before this. So yeah. What is it? It needs to be easy enough to be done by War Within pre-patch though. Yeah, I understand. But the thing is, is this is not, so it's kind of hard to, this mode is so massive that it's hard for me to break it down for you really quickly. But all of the collector achievement, like mount, transmog, like 99% of the rewards are achieved before and have nothing to do with the heroic raids or mythic siege of Orgrimmar. It is purely for like, if you want an achievement for each raid and you haven't already done it on your account. And like, there might be something small, but like, that's it. It's extremely not a thing. Uh, so because of that, it doesn't really need to be completed. I, I'm, I'm the first person to tell you, I don't think it should be like extremely hard, but it should definitely... Rec the only way it's even cool because there aren't a lot of rewards for it is... And I think it's smart for them not putting rewards behind it because then people would feel like they have to do it, right? Uh, and if it was hard at that point or even somewhat of a barrier, it would be a huge problem. If you don't put rewards behind it, almost no one would do it. There's still there's still achievements. Yeah. And and obviously you can get bronze. It's like something you can do in the game to get bronze, just like every other activity. Yeah. It's probably not the most efficient way to farm it though. Max, the servers are up. You're making this up, but I'll I'll give it another reset. Because I respect making things up. Let's go. Max, are you planning on trying to get an interview? I mean, yeah, I don't know if they're doing them right now. I messaged the my main guy there. And I said... Um, definitely interested in an interview soon, if possible. Uh, this is when I... And I this is right when I found out that there were actually interviews being done during that two-day alpha thing. And he said something extremely reasonable. Yeah, we'll get you looped in for the next one. Since you've had a couple more opportunities than others, we wanted to provide them to creators that haven't gotten one in a while or ever. And I think that's... I think that is completely fair. So, makes sense. And by the way, Tally had an interview on Monday and Tuesday. And he asked fucking... I would have asked no better questions than Tally did. And he got fucking shafted. <laughs> Jack is literally on. Bro, if you guys are baiting me and Jack is playing a VOD. Dude, where is automatic Jack? All right, did I spell it wrong? Must have. Yes. They gave us a bunch of like screenshots. To look at the other zones, but obviously it's different. Yeah, he's talking. <laughs> did I should know better? I mean, I do know better. I knew instantly, but I still did it because I can't help myself. By the way, we are real close to hitting some plunder duos. Zorbrick's tweet. Oh, that's the most information we're ever going to get. Wait a second. Wait. Wait. That doesn't seem like a, oh, I'm struggling and the servers are bad. That seems like a, let's fucking go kind of thing. What is, wait, what is this, what is, what is this gift telling me? 
What does this what does this tweet mean? What does this mean? Turn the volume up? It's a gift. There's no volume. What does this mean? Everyone wants in and he has to hold them off. But that would imply that people have alpha and they're not able to connect to the servers, but no one's even been flagged yet. <laughs> Although I'm sure they haven't, uh, I'm sure they haven't flagged because, uh, they're probably going to do it at the same time. I'm assuming I'm trying to figure out what would happen if I'm actually not in the alpha today and other people are, I feel like the only thing I could do would be what do I DM Bill Gates, Billy G cry step one cry yeah i i feel like i always have the my trap card of if i ever feel slighted enough i'll just do asmongold thumbnail negative youtube videos for an entire calendar year until i feel like i've i've gotten my due they're gonna fucking feel it Broke NDA, not invited. Yo, can we talk about that, by the way? Okay, so, like, I don't think they were talking about me, but, like, I don't think Blizzard was happy that, like, every single WoW creator tweeted no stream until Wednesday because that kind of inadvertently told people that we were all doing something we couldn't talk about. But I want to point out that I was the first one to do this, which is totally reasonable. I'm just telling my chat... To not expect me to stream until Wednesday. I've done this before. It's not random or new. And then just every single other WoW content creator tweeted the exact same thing. As if it was like some planned like, hey guys, ooh, we're doing something cool. Right? But like, I don't know, man. And then I could see, okay, so then I bet Blizzard was like, man, I wish all these creators didn't do this. And it looks like that I started it. But like, I blame the people that tweeted this after me because they 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 like almost put it on me i mean you did it you you did start it yeah but like did i though i can't help that i'm a fucking trendsetter you know what i mean wait that dratnos tweet goes hard oh my god have you guys seen this Let's fucking go. Oh my god, he's fucking lit. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, also there's such a funny there's such a funny tweet under that too. The first one was like, I, where was it? I was in, I was in the crowd of that day. Dratnos brings electric energy. Best experience of my life. <laughs> it's an insanely good tweet. Guys, I'm Zorbrix is in my head. What does this what does this tweet mean? What does it mean? Someone tell me what it means. We need to find the gift name. What is this gift name called?
It's hold? Hold? Okay, if it's like hold, then... Hold almost implies like... It's about to come up, right? Right? Like, if you were just going to say, hold on, guys, chill out, it would be a different gift. This is almost like hold, and it's going to be like, go! After that. It's literally called wait. I feel like he's saying continue refreshing. What's the dog doing? I don't know. Ella, what are you doing? I think she was just licking her leg. She does that. That's a, that's a, that's 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 quality dog behavior. They do that all the time. All right, someone in YouTube chat said it's up me downloading. Oh fuck, they said in parentheses real after that. Oh, my my entire opinion of YouTube chat has changed now. Wait, it's real? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, a lot of people are saying words. I'm in. Go, go, go. Guys, I think I'm bugged. I didn't get it. Or something. Oh, no, we're good. We're within alpha. Let's go. On God. It's already installed, too. This is going to be easy for me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Getting in. Alpha time. Let's go. Is this a scenario? I never do going live tweets. Is this an important enough scenario to do one? I know going live tweets are a crime punishable by death. I do like one or two a year. I'm not doing it. It ain't worth it. Nothing's worth that. You are already live? You know what? So true. So true, actually. Guys, by the way, I want to give I want to give a word of advice to people who did not get in. What is very possible is that some of you won't get in today. But what I was told was that it goes out in waves. Not everyone who is getting alpha today is getting it right now. Typically, at like Dragonflight Alpha and Shadowlands Alpha, they do like three or four waves in the first day. Uh, so make sure you uh you keep trying or don't. Uh, but definitely check back later if you care about it. If you didn't get it just now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's loud as fuck, too. That's my favorite. That's my favorite when it's as loud as it could possibly be. Yes! Yes! Play the... All right. Let's turn this sound down real quick. Dude, it's actually my favorite when the game is insanely loud. Uh, dialogue, ambience, effects, music... Loop music, yes. I need to change. I had this is the first time on this client because I was on a different uh thing. So I'm gonna make sure I have all my VSync always off. Low latency mode. Uh, probably Nvidia Reflex. I don't know. Plus boost. Is anyone a genius? Should I have that on? What about some anti-aliasing? Let's just put this bitch all the way up to ten. Plus boost. All right. Plus boost. What about anti-aliasing? Anyone? feeling oh wait i'm feeling this might be a good one for multi-sample techniques that's one of my favorite usually to do that um or advanced maybe <laughs> all right turning off anti-aliasing because i it's it's some crazy technology i don't understand uh view distance yes triple buffering texture ray tracing definitely off Graphics API, 12, graphics card, 
auto detect probably works. Um, I don't think any of the FPS stuff matters, right? If it's windowed, if it's bordered, borderless windowed, doesn't it just uh, natty work? We'll see. Max, WoW Engine isn't stable enough for advanced AA. You either want to go none or 4x. Which one's 4x? You know, let's go none. Just because I'm too dumb. Alright, uh... Audience... Okay, we're good. I think we're good. I like having new alphas on Super Ultra, so all the new stuff looks cool. Nice. Uh, let me... While the realms are still down, I assume. Oh, Will. Oh, no, you're chilling. We're actually in. Okay, nice. Uh, okay. First thing we're doing... Is... Playing... A monk. What race? Definitely a horde. Uh, Panda's pretty iconic, yeah. Blood Elf. Oh, wait, does Blood Elf give you energy or chi when you press the thing? Be a dog, Volpera? Alright, I'll be a dog. Dog punch kick guy. Dog punch kick. Punch kick guy. Yeah. All right, let's read every word of this. Got it. All right, we got punch kick guy. Oh, I made the I made a bad character. God damn it. I think what you need to do is do go back and then you need to create a war within level up character. Wait, can you copy your character? Does that work? Uh testing. All right, War Within level up. Volpera, Monk, Punch, Kick, Guy. Level 70 Monk, perfect. Let's create some new guys while we're here. Uh, I'm going to play like four guys today. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get him there. Uh... Horse Enjoyer. I'm one of the four horsemen. Oh yeah, that does count that does sound kinda weird. <laughs> let's fucking let's get rid of that guy. <laughs> Alright. Alright, here we go. What are we doing? Blood elf, female, death knight, horse. Horse. Lady. Horse lady. Okay. Um, we're doing... Oh, Paladin. Hammer machine. No! I was Hammer Dunker before, but I like Hammer Machine. Hammer Machine! Uh, what other character do I want to play today? Shaman? Doesn't Shaman not even have, like, their hero talents, though? So, like, what, is, what are the fuck are you even doing? Like, and I would, I would want to play Enhance. Uh, Shadow Priest? Oh, yeah, Shadow Priest, maybe. Ooh, ooh, maybe Hunter? Because I want to see, uh... I want to see what Dark Ranger looks like. Just, like, the actual look. 
I don't want to play Rogue because Rogue only has Trickster and they don't even have two other hero talents. Uh, oh, Dev Evoker I wanted to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turbo Gary. All right. All right, let's log in, boys. All right, we're going to have to get the default UI set up real quick. Oh, okay, we're just, we're doing stuff here. Some of your talents have changed. Uh, should I, wait, do I have add-ons on this? No, 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 okay. I want to at least just get recount. Let me interface World of Warcraft. It like reset my, or it's like a different WTF, I think. I just want to make sure I get recount over. That's all, just so I can see how how much damage my hero can, my hero talents are doing. Uh, why isn't it here? Did it remake my folder? Wait, everything's there. Why is it not here? Am I looking at the wrong thing? Oh, is this not? Let's see. I might be looking at the wrong thing. So before it was alpha, but it might be called beta now. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, it is beta now. Okay, I just have to move everything over. It was called alpha before, but the 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 one that we played the other day, the folder was called alpha, and this one's called beta. It doesn't mean it's beta. It's just like literally the all the files I downloaded are in a different spot. Uh, easy. Let's do that, and then a quick little reload. Max, check out DK Talents. Guys, it's a long day. We're going to do everything today. We're going to do everything. Also, again, if you guys did not get Alpha, I don't want to, like, bait you to think you're going to get Alpha today. It does... It is given out to at random at a lot of... Uh, for a lot of people. Uh, but it does go out in multiple waves. So if you are hoping to get it today, uh, you can still get it today. Uh, I saw a bunch of people in my chat that are not subs, never seen their name before, just be like, I got it, I'm in. So it sounds like a decent amount of you got it, but I'm sure, I'm sure a small percentage overall. Probably a couple hundred, maybe a thousand. They are liars. Let's do a poll, actually. Even though this poll, people, if they got... Okay, here we go. Did you get alpha? Yes or no? You have one minute. Let's see how many yeses there are. It says service error. Oh, it worked. At max, I lied on your poll, lol. <laughs> Why, though? Like, what fucking point? Why would you do... Okay, uh... It looks like a couple hundred people got it, except for the liars. <laughs> uh, target and focus. Party frames here. Use raid-style party frames, definitely. Uh... Not, do not display border frame width. Sort by group, yes. Uh, definitely a little bigger. Raid frame settings, which is display power bars, no. Display class colors, yes. Display pets, no. Display only displayable debuffs. Um, no, you want to see all debuffs. Display health techs. Uh, arena, no, none of that matters. Okay, great. Uh, buffs and debuffs. I like moving my debuffs down here, closer to my character. I also like them to be horizontal with the icon direction going right, so I can see the debuffs that are, like, closer to my guy. I also like the size to be significantly bigger. Uh, specifically, also this frame goes here. Dude, edit mode isn't even bad, by the way. Edit mode's kind of nice. It's like, it's more intuitive than I remember. Still need some adjustments, but not nearly as bad. Uh, show grid. Yeah. Uh, cast bar underneath. Uh, yeah, actually for this, that's probably good. Uh, cast bar, it'll be there, obviously. Obviously get bigger than that. Uh, show cast time. Nope. Uh, raid frames, we don't care about. Talking head, uh, can be there, that's fine. Uh, target and focus party frame, snack to element, modern. Uh, for now, let's do that. 
for doggy. And we'll move some of it around as we see more stuff. Okay, so now let's get into actually how we're going to set up our default UI here. So let's get all of our action bars on our screen. Let's remove everything from our bar. And then I want you guys to feast your eyes on the new spell book. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all there. Alright, um, but before we do that... Um, let's see. So let's change a few things here. So we're just going to bind everything here. Actually, let's do our talents first. Uh, so that way everything actually gets on our screen. Uh, we are playing Wind Walker. That is correct. Hero talents unlock at 71. Okay. So if you guys want to get hero talents, by the way, you just talk to this guy. He will unlock all your hero talents. And, oh, wait, can I not blacklist? See, the fact that you can't blacklist this is insane because now it's just going to be on top of my debuffs forever. But, I mean, I'm also not going to level to 74, and even then you'd be missing all of your hero talent shit. Either way, uh, so we have both of these here. Uh, we'll play Shadow Pan for now, but I have some issues with it. Are you testing all classes? Yeah, something like that. All right, let's uh, let's get rid of everything here and just make our tree real quick, and then we'll save something, so we have a, have a loadout to go to. All right, need this, need that, need that. Uh, always need kick. Need to spend some points. Grab that for pathing. Healing taken. We can get later. Let's get the roll thing because that's actually interesting to play with. Uh, we don't need an enrage to spell in either of these dungeons. We'll grab one to keep pathing. Grab celerity, transcendence. Chi burst, at least when I was using it before, no longer gives you chi. And that's intentional. So I'm going to definitely hold off on that. I'm probably going to take chi wave because it just casts natty. Just free damage. Uh, Ring of peace, yes. Resonant fist. Diffuse magic. Fort brew, which is now a two minute cooldown, by the way, just in case you guys missed that yesterday. It was not correct on Wowhead as a two minute CD. Uh, range of leg sweep, yes. Touch of death, yes. Expel harm thing. Just for Oh, we don't even need that for pathing. Uh, how many? We have four points to spend. That's a lot. We can get whatever we want. Uh, let's get a little bit longer roll distance. Let's get increased healing taken. Let's get less cooldown there. Let's make our two-minute Fort Brew a one-and-a-half-minute Fort Brew. Let's get Martial Instincts. Let's get Strength of Spirit. Let's get Chi Proficiency. Here we go. Uh, bounce back, summon white tiger statue, fatal touch. We have two talents. All right, so let's get lighter than air because it's fun. Uh, we already have everything we need, so maybe we get flow of chi. Maybe we could also. I haven't played with rushing reflexes yet. I kind of want to do that, just for crazy movement potential. Yeah. Anyways, windwalker tree is easy. Let's just make a dungeon tree because that's what we're gonna be doing first. I think I can speed run this. As you can tell, I played this a lot over the <laughs> last couple days. We're we're having fun. Uh, well, how did I spend? Oh, the last two points are kind of depend on the situation. Um, no serenity. Now there's no more serenity. I'll show you how it works though. Rushing Jade Wind. Uh, Rushing Jade Wind, I don't think does quite enough damage to take right now. All it does is it just goes off on your Strike of the Windlord and it just does damage. It was like 3 or 4% of my damage in a key. So, I mean, that's definitely good for a single talent point. Oh, I wanted to play with... Uh, I wanted to play with some other stuff. I actually might fuck with playing with Jade Fire Stomp. Um, the reason why is they made it no longer a maintenance buff and it doesn't reset. It's literally just a 15 second cooldown. That gives you a buff when you use it. There's, They took almost all of the bad parts out of this spell. So I am definitely considering uh, just playing it. Um, which sounds disgusting when I say it out loud. Uh, well, it's so weird. Like, right now, I don't even want to take Inner Peace, but I will because as far as I could tell last time, Combat Wisdom wasn't working. So uh, maybe we could grab... Hmm, what do I not need here? 
Let's try this. Take the thing below inner piece. Nah, it's just spinning crank kick damage. Spinning crank kick isn't a ton of your damage. It's definitely a weak option. Uh, edit mode. There's one more thing I wanted to do. It's like one of the action bar things that you need to fix. Uh, it's like the... Is it extra action bar? We have to get it to actually show up. Advanced options. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It is the stance bar, uh, which we don't need on this class. It's the pet bar. It's the one that goes over your bars right here. A counter bar, extra abilities. Okay, that should be... Shouldn't matter. Uh, miscellaneous talking head. Is that... There's something that prevents you from key binding things quickly that I want to get rid of. Equipment. Vehicle exit. Nah, it's all fine. Okay. Cool. And now we can, uh... We can set this up. Edit mode. Action bar 8 goes over my character. Action bar 7 goes here. Which I think the number of icons should be 8. And here the number of icons should be... Also 8, but they're bigger. Something like that. Uh, and then we can move this up. This will also be icon size increased just over my uh, character's frame. Uh, stop showing grid. Do not snap to elements yet. Perfect. Uh, number of uh, icons, six. Icon padding. Oh, you'd want to go less than two there, but yep, yeah, all good. Mr. GM didn't get alpha yet. Yeah, guys, it goes out in waves. It definitely sucks for him. Dude, if I didn't have alpha right now and other people were playing it, I'd be in hell. I feel for all of you for sure. It sucks. Everyone should always get everything at the same time. That's what I would hope for. Uh, doggy is this thing. Okay, uh, I think we're good. Except I'm a little tilted about the debuffs. Maybe I'm going to make it a little smaller just because it's so huge. It should be like that. So you can like see the debuffs next to your character, kind of. Um, okay, let's find stuff. Yay! Uh, wait, can we do quick key bindings? Right? Isn't that an option? It's like uh, you click an action bar and you go to quick key bind mode. Character specific bindings, definitely. Uh, let me do that real quick. So let me just drag everything in my bar now. Let me just make sure everything makes sense. Yeah, okay, spellbook time, boys. Let's go. Trying a new, uh... Nah, we'll keep it the same. Nah, we'll do Jade Fire Stomp there. I guess these don't really need to make sense because I'm not going to be looking down here. I'm actually going to hide these, I think.
Yeah, yeah, definitely the spellbook feels really nice once you get used to it. Yeah, I think we're out of buttons now. Now what we can do is maybe put some of our other stuff on our bars. So, like, they give you, like, some random flasks and pots and stuff. So maybe move that here, move that pot here, combine those. Move this flask here, move this food here. Uh, then we're almost done, right? We move our mounts onto this bar. And then we just bind some buttons that we're not currently playing that we might in the future. Are there any of those? Are there any buttons we don't have? I think we, we took all the buttons, which I think Blizzard kind of doesn't want, but... Hype. Uh... Hide bar art? Oh, we'll definitely do that, yeah. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna try Jade Fire Stomp. I'm not not sold on it for sure. Okay, quick key mode. Let's just let's just speed run this. Boys, speed run? Are we done? Well, we have to set up our up our bars up here for a second. Yeah, we do. Okay, so edit mode now. This, how do we hide? Uh, always show buttons. Or bar visible should just be hidden. Yeah, this should be hidden. This should be hidden. This should be hidden. Oh, you can't hide bar one. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I can definitely hide this too, not even using it. Hidden. Hidden. Oh, quest pane. Can we make this... Massive? <laughs> no. Um, okay. Save. Let's do real quick, quick shout for anyone on alpha right now. Hit a quick little reload. Takes actually one millisecond. And it will save all of your progress so you don't have to do it again. Uh, so right here, Max, you did not bind Strike of the Wind Lord. Yes, I did. THD found me and said Lation Lol. Found it. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Okay, edit mode. Move this up slightly because it's overlapping the actual bar. Does anyone know if it's possible to not show the abilities on default UI that you aren't using? I'll explain why. Uh, what I use above my character is just for my defensives, so specifically Diffuse Magic, uh, Fort Brew, and Touch of Karma. So that's the... So I only want these three to show. I don't want these three to show up. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's always show buttons. Oh. Perfection. Absolute perfection. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. Uh, now let's make my bars look good. Uh, let's do the offensive ones first. So, Rising Sun Kick for sure first. No longer need Expel Harm there, which is fun. They're definitely different. Uh, that's the only one that's class-based, right? Yeah. Okay. Fist Fury. Jade Fire Stomp. Whirling Dragon Punch. Storm Earth and Fire. Invokes when Strike the Windlord. And... That's it? Yeah. Flying Serpent Kick. Roll. Tiger's Lust. Transcendence. You had spinning crane kick up there as well. 
Yeah. <laughs> Running out of room, though. You know what I mean? Chi wave? You don't need chi wave. No. Touch of death? Oh, yeah, you died. You kind of do need touch of death up there. I think I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is track... Can I see my blackout kick and spinning crane kick procs on my UI in any way? Oh yeah, there they are. I see it right there. What about what about Dance of Chigi? Where can I see Dance of Chigi besides my button lighting up? Can you? You can hear it. Uh, yeah, that's not. That won't. That won't work. All right. So I already see two things I need to change. A uh, couple things actually. Edit mode. This. Go way closer. Should be like here. Uh, debuffs should be up slightly. Um, I'm going to have to do something kind of weird, but it's going to work. Uh, let me know if you guys like it. That's weird. It goes a little bit against my philosophy of this, but it should be good. I'm just going to have those there just to see their procs <clears throat> for now. Because the only thing else I need to see down here is like, I guess, kick. And stun. But then I can't see Ring of Peace. Might have to make that bar bigger, huh? Pretty easy. Nine. That fits everything. Let's see if all my buttons are bound. Oh, dude. Guys, the mobility of Monk is great. Just watch roll. You roll, it charges you to a target, and then you can do this. One roll will do multiple things if you want it to. Roll, charge you to a target, and then that on every roll. Well, you have to be 10 yards with a target in front of you to actually do it, but crazy movement with both of these. I don't know if I like this, though. I could take Clash. I kind of just don't like this at all. You know what let's do? Let's do Transcendence Escape from Reality. That's always fun. All right, let's see how this feels. Well, okay, so this is still bugged, so monks are not working properly at the moment, but. Holy moly, seven stacks of Whirling Dragon Punch. Get them all back. Nope. No resets. Feeling good, dude. And the UI is good, too.
I want to move my cast bar, actually. Probably below. Yeah. Let's we'll see how that how that feels. Oh, perfect. Uh, all right, now let's uh, enable load out of date add-ons, except disable all. I just want advanced interface options. Uh, I just want recount. Oh no, is recount bugging now? Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I was to say, recount's old trusty. Oh no! I can't show configuration for it though. But I bet it'll work natty. Wait! Did they break it? They might have broke it. They might have broke it. Try reload, maybe, yeah. It was working just fine yesterday. Zero DPS, ha. Huh? I need to turn this sound down a little bit. Options, audio, definitely just, or we can maybe keep it here. Just, is it effects that are too loud? Yeah, a little bit. Do you need personal resource display? I think it's kind of nice. Because I want to see my chi under my character. And it's the only way to do that. So. Max Tally wants to do dungeons. I, I need to set up first. Uh, Max, once your UI set up, you should copy the code for it and keep it on a notepad for future betas. Ooh, good shout. Uh, trying to relog. Max, swap the first bar for the eighth bar so you can hide the bottom one. Uh, I could do that, right? Would that cause anything annoying to happen? No, maybe you're right. The only thing that sucks for that is if you ever have to do like a UI. So on default UI, if you ever get in a vehicle that needs to do something, vehicle UI would require me to do something, but I'm not binding any of the buttons on this. That's the only thing that might get weird. I'm I'm feeling like it's okay to just... To not. I think it's fine. Just this being down here is fine. I'll never look at it. It's not hurting anybody. Can you not hide that one? It won't let you, yeah. Or maybe what I can do... Uh, not snap to elements. Can I just fucking yeet it off my screen? Can I make it super small? I can make it super small. Like, microscopic. That is the move. Guys, what is this glizzy you could gobble spam? Stop stop this madness. Dude, Jade Fire. If you have to check Jade Fire, it does I'll do some dungeons with it. It did feel like a little bloated, I think. I mean, I don't know. Let's see.
absolutely bl I don't know, actually. Maybe not. Do you prefer Shadow Pan over Conduit? Eh. I, I have issues with both of them. We'll get into that more when I play it more. With Jade Fire only hitting one target now. Wait, does it only hit one target? Strike the ground first to. It hits up to five. It does not hit only five. Or it hits up to five enemies. And then those five enemies take 12% increased damage for 10 seconds. I'm thinking that Jade Fire would never be worth it if, uh. Jade Fire would never be worth it unless Jade Fire Harmony didn't exist. Uh, but you could make it only hit one target and it would fucking pop off too. 500% increased. Woohoo! I mean, I'll definitely do a dungeon with it. You just have so many ways to scale your damage. You have too, so many damage windows. Uh, dude, this is crazy. I can't get recount to work. That was not the case yesterday. What kind of... I, I can't read LUA errors. I don't know if... Uh, I mean, I'm, we can also just play without it for now until someone gets a working version. Seems easy. Uh, all right. Kill recount. Uh, turned off advanced interface options first. Yeah, maybe. Well, I want to use that real quick. So advanced interface options does a few things that you absolutely and totally need to change. Number one is lag tolerance. Uh, default, whenever you make a new character or you make a new account or you're logging on an alpha for the first time, is default set to 400 ms, which is turbo ass. I like mine at 70. Uh, you may like yours a little bit higher. Uh, let's see. That doesn't matter. Sevar uh, browser. You can also do all of this with scripts. You don't need this add-on to do this. Um... Where's the view distance one? Oh, max camera distance. There we go. Reload. Can you use bug sack for LUA errors? You probably could, but I bet bug sack is uh fucking up other shit too. All right, advanced interface options off. Let's see if I can now get recount to work with that though. Maybe recount isn't actually, maybe it needs a little uppy date. But recount like is never updated. That's kind of what makes it work. Nah, it's 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 definitely broken. They message Dorky. They broke recount, right? Oh, you said you think you should have it higher? Every time I try it higher, I hate it. But, uh... We'll see. I'll try, I'll try it higher. Oh, Dorky said, not sure, but they broke weak aura. I think everything might be broken. Oh yeah, so the new alpha build, whatever they pushed, the current add-ons will have to be updated for it, which is also perfectly fine. You know what I kind of want to do? Not play with Jade Fire Stomp for now, but play with it a little bit more later. That also allows you to pick some fun stuff. Like, I kind of want to try Last Emperor's Capacitor. Wait, I don't have any damage meters. I won't have any way to tell. Uh, I guess I could look at my combat log and just see how much it does. Let's just do a little quick, quick little test. Two seconds. Uh, can I see my buffs? Alright, uh, let's just spend... All we're doing is spend in chi, right? How do you get this to work? Chi spenders. Alright. 
Let me pop a cooldown so I can actually get it to... Spam Blackout Kick. To go to 20 stacks. All right. Damage increased by 2,000%. Combat log. It's just not even working, right? Well, it said it, uh... Oh, it said... No, no, no. It, did, it was working. It says energy cost... It doesn't reduce its, uh... It reduces its cost, and it increases its damage. So it did... It definitely worked. Uh, let's see. It did 20k per tick versus 1k? Yeah. Uh, how many ticks was that? One, it can crit, obviously. Uh, four ticks. So, 80k damage for free. Basically. Just, like, I don't even know. Maybe, like, twice a minute. That's, uh, su still super, super ass, yeah. And the weirdest part is, is it's, like... Tied behind AoE nodes, kind of, which is extra, extra weird. I might give Rushing Jade Wind another try, just for fun. And this one felt good for energy economy. Instead of Fury of Zwen. Okay, I'm just fucking with this a little bit. Oh, wait. Doesn't this class have, like, some funny-ass... Oh, yeah, Bag of Tricks, bro. Binding it. Uh, wait, something didn't change. Or didn't save. Right here, right? Wait, what? Isn't this... Huh? Oh, there we go. I just had to reload. There's a dev update? Let's see. The War Within Alpha Development Notes Major Class Reworks. Is any of this new? It looks like they're just announcing they're just announcing the things they've already done, at least for Druid here. But the dev notes might be super interesting though. So let's uh let's back up for a second from that. Also, yo, why isn't my music playing when I tab out? Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, okay, they okay, dev notes are are super important here, but let's take some time and go through this. I I want to do that before I set up any more characters, honestly. Oh, this is dynamic writing, by the way. Wait, do I just have everything in my account? Wait, ooh. There's so much to do today. I want to see what Mimiron's head feels like. Oh, wait. I don't have any dragon riding talents. One second. I have a fix for this. I have a fix for this, I think. All right, running this script. Did it work? Wait, that worked on Alpha the other day. You just have to run a script that gives you... Oh, maybe I had an extra space at the end. Remount. One second. Oh, no, there it is. I just did it. Oh, there we go. Okay, the script gives you all your points. Let's go. Linking script in chat. Mm -hmm. 
So they gave you... Is Lightning Rush already in the game, by the way, or is that new? Yeah, you can, like... I forget exactly what it is, but, like, Lightning Rush is supposed to be... It, like, replace... Does it replace Whirling Surge? Wait, I just Whirling Surged even though I select... Do I have to remount? Uh, probably. Yep, there it is. Oh. Oh, Mimron said we're going huge. We just need to build up enough steam. We're going up. We're flying. Wait, Mimron's head might be the mount, though. Wait, what's a funny flying mount that probably doesn't have dynamic riding given to it yet? Rocket. Oh, it says it says it has it. <laughs> Wait, going lightning mode? <laughs> Bro, it's so hard to turn. All right. What's another one? The flying carpet? I feel like that one's boat. Bro, I don't have boat. I don't have boat, chat. All right, either way. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I want to look at these dev notes. Oh, except I don't want to hear combat sounds for 10 minutes. So let's get the fuck out of here. Go on this thing. On this hill right here. All right. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, anyways, let's start from the beginning. All right, so we saw some of the changes they made. Uh, let's just start at the very beginning. Uh, with each phase, we encourage players to make a new template character and avoid using the previous characters. They could potentially be in a broken state. After making a new template character, make sure to talk to this guy that he'll prepare you for any available content. Right now, maximum level 73. Cool. Uh, classes. Developers note, Heroes Talents can be accessed by leveling uh, or doing that. We already know that. This will give you a permanent debuff. Several Hero Talent trees haven't had their new visual effects or audio added. These trees are using placeholder assets for now and be updated over the course of Alpha. Okay, that's a huge deal because I was just about to go into this, but Shadow Pan, you have no idea you're playing this. It, it, nothing. Zero visuals. Absolutely none. Um, power tuning these abilities is still in early passes. Of course, these abilities might be later, not yet implemented, user interface, whatever. The following hero talents are available for playtesting. Okay, we already know what they are. Uh, Druid. Oh, let's talk about the Druid class tree because it's really, really... There's... Okay, they added a lot of cool things, but the pathing is unbelievably dog shit. Uh, a core aspect of the Druid fantasy is that they have four specs with a variety of magical and physical powers. We want the class tree to embody Druid's ability to invest in the powers of other specs. We, keep, we kept the central design of the tree with there being four main sections. You can invest in the guardian section to access powerful damage resistance or resto to unlock self-healing. Further, the talents in the bottom half of the tree are divided in physical and magical halves so you can access by investing in either feral or guardian. Yeah, you guys need to relook at that, though. Um, one second. Like, it's cool thematically, but the gameplay of it needs major help. Um... Like, if you're a balanced druid and you want something insane like oak skin, you have to grab an, in, an a very large amount of points that are bad to go in this direction. Even at the very beginning of the tree, if you want something like 4% passive DR, which outside of theme, I know why it's on the, like, feral guardian side. Let's keep it a buck for a second. You need this 100% of the time on any druid spec. So other classes have to either get two points in physical damage, which makes no sense, or you're going to have to grab Iron Fur and potentially Frenzied Regen, which you don't want, to just grab this. 
uh, if you want fluid form as like a feral or a guardian playing the new uh, massive attack one, right? You have to get points potentially in lore of the grove for absolutely no reason to access this. There's just, I mean, there's there's a bunch more of these like the range of spells locked behind magic damage node. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense here. It needs a needs actually after looking at it more and also from all four specs point of view, which is what I did. This this class tree needs major changes. Uh, although a lot of the cool stuff they added is is cool. It's new stuff they added is cool. It's just you can't access it because the tree has so many problems. Like two years ago problems that are there. It's really weird. A lot of the newer stuff they had learned from that. Uh, anyways. Uh, our goals for Balance Druid are to ease some of the constraints in the rotation up a greater variety of builds and tune their balance and resource generation. Sweet. Okay. Our goals for Feral Druid and the War Within is to slow down its rotation um, and a little to make energy usage more tactical and bring more clarity to playing the spec. We're also trying to restore more of Tiger Fury's identity and excitement and simplifying some talent functionality to free up more choice in where you spend points. Many of these changes will read as nerfs, the goal is to build a healthy rotation and talent balance and buff damage that will make rotation competitive. Okay, cool. Uh, resto, we'd like to reduce active keybinds, increase the base power of Rejuve, and offer some Heart of the Wild gameplay. With the removal of Adaptive Swarm, we're opting to replace it with some Heart of the Wild synergy that both increases the uptime and focuses on the hybrid gameplay further and the duration. Okay. We like that. Um, Evoker, this is huge. Devastation Evoker, can, we actually were just talking about this on stream the other day, can generate very high threat at the start of a pull, doing a combination of their mastery and the burstiness of spells. Uh, as a result, we're reducing the threat these spells generate. That's We directly suggested this change the other day. They probably already did it before we even mentioned it, but this was vastly needed, so really, really, really good. Pyre threat my 30. Yeah, and fire, yeah, huge, huge. Uh, preservation... Uh, our goal is to incorporate life spark. I don't know what healers do. I'm just going to skip this. Uh, monk. I am very important. Very, very happy with this. Our main goals for the monk class tree are to introduce more optionality, refresh the cappers. I haven't refer I haven't heard people refer to capstones as cappers. And add a few new pieces of utility while cutting down on overall keybind requirements. They did that. They did all of those things extremely well. They everything they just said they wanted to do, they executed at a high level versus Druid where they have a lot of issues. To accomplish this, we've added choice nodes to most active options that offer a passive option that change or or changed pathing to allow more skipping of these spells. Yep, great changes. We're not gonna go over all of them, but uh you know what it is. Uh Miss Weaver. Miss Weaver seeing a few updates. Uh healer stuff, healer stuff, healer stuff. Okay, Windwalker, there we go. Our updates for Windwalker and the War Within are intended to address a few issues of the spec struggled with throughout Dragonflight. These points of focus for us were the power levels of haste and mastery stats falling behind other options. Jadefire Stomp's usability and the Touch of Death gameplay focus. These were my biggest gripes too, specifically. I've been, I mean, you if you've watched my stream, I've just been talking about these for two years. More than that, other areas that we are looking at are resource bloat, also a problem, evening out their rate of auto attacks, another huge problem and adding more pronounced thematics through both gameplay and visuals fucking holy holy banger all of that uh i'm gonna skip a lot of the stuff and just see uh this ability is still being implemented and will ab be added later wait new talent flurry of when your talents and abilities have a chance to activate this unleashing a barrage of deadly swipes in a 10 yard cone interesting um I know this, I know this. Uh, looking for dev notes or things that I am unaware of. Oh, oh, they buffed mastery by 20%. I didn't know that. Your mastery is just 20% better. So that's the way they're... I mean, I've been saying it for fucking years, man. The fact that haste and mastery do nothing... Or not nothing, but like, you know they don't scale too well off of that and they buff mastery and they make haste way better for you so uh uh let's see touch of karma is now baseline whirling dragon punch okay expel harm no longer generates chi for wind walker oh oh Oh, that's... Okay, that... Okay, so the game is not bugged. 
I just didn't know that Expel Harm wasn't supposed to generate Chi. But does it reset your mastery? We're going to test this right now. Again, guys, you guys are initially like our resource economy is lower. This is intentional. Like, in a way, logging onto your character at level, at max level, having absolutely zero stats that increase, that reduce the cooldown of your spells or increase your energy regen or anything like that, and then being able to do your rotation and never be oom um, per se, that that means that your haystat like by default is irrelevant you can tune your class in a million different ways right but like having haste matter for that by default will make your class feel better and, and scale better or else haste will just be irrelevant and then stats bad right uh so i kind of get it but i want to see if it resets combo if if not i have issues so okay it does right okay perfect 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 did you just see that i just tiger palmed twice in a row and I have three stacks of hit combo. So, you don't have to find some weird button to, to press after Tiger Palm. You can just press it twice in a row and it won't break your thing because it's casting Expel Harm. Again, only once every 15 seconds, but there's, there's no way to tell when this is going to happen currently other than a buff you have. Yeah. Like, they need to give something in-game for that, but they already stated that they're adding visuals for a lot of this stuff. But yeah, I mean, you'll definitely need a, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be hard to do on, on, uh... I mean, just going into a pack, I guess you can just look and see if you have combat wisdom. Uh... And then you can just Tiger Palm twice in a row. But yeah, definitely, definitely need something for that for sure. Okay, that's 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 gonna make me have way more fun playing this though. Flying Serpent Kick no longer deals damage. Does it give you hit combo? It does. Okay, you can still use that to reset if you want. Mark of the Crane now only applies to the primary target of each strike. Wait, does that mean if I pop clones and I Tiger Palm? Nope, they all three still get it. What is that? Oh, was it, was it shadow boxing treads? Yes, shadow boxing treads was spreading it. Okay. Uh, teachings of the monastery stacks up to four was three. We know that. Thunderfist always now always generates four stacks, even if single target, and additional stacks of Thunderfist per target struck. And you can actually go through your Thunderfist charges now because of the auto attack speed increase from Fist of Fury. Uh, transfer the power no longer stacks from Rushing Jade Wind, but now stacks from Spinning Crane Kick. Oh, wait. Uh. Oh, and Spinning Crane Kick. Okay. Uh. Empowered Tiger Lightning's effect is now baseline for Zwen. <clears throat> okay. So you don't have to spend an extra point on that. Love that. Invoker's Delight now increases haste by 20, while active was 30. Uh, you still feel insane when this Tiger's out. Uh, if you guys ever wondered why it was 33% as a Shadowlands Legendary or for your talent this entire expansion, is because haste was so meaningless for you that they had to give you an absolutely absurd number of it for this thing to actually matter. And now that haste is much better for you, this is completely reasonable. Uh, Zwen's Bond now decreases the cooldown of Invoke Zwen by 0.2 seconds. Oh, so Zwen's Bond is literally twice as good. It doesn't say that on the tooltip. Oh, you missed the part where it says you auto attack during spinning crane kick now. Wait, what? Where is that? Oh, spinning crane kick now cancels from using other spells or abilities, but no longer prevents... Wait, so if you're... If I do this, then spinning crane kick, and then tiger palm, it cancels my spin. Oh, I hate that. That's, 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 t okay. Not auto attacking was a bad part of it, but that's, that's fucking ass. That, I'm assuming Blizzard knows this is ass, but that was the only way to possibly fix the auto attack problem. 
You could macro to prevent it from canceling. Yeah, it's like the exclamation point thing, right? I need to do that with Fist of Fury too, because if you guys didn't see, Fist of Fury now increased its damage every tick. So like clipping it early is already was bad before, but like is turbo, turbo bad now. Just don't spam buttons during spin. No, the macro is really good because you want to queue up abilities, right? You literally lose damage by sitting there waiting for it. Uh, okay, Tiger Palm energy cost increased to 60, was 50. You definitely feel this. And the talent where you can reduce the cost feels great. Um, chi burst no longer generates chi. You definitely feel that. Many talents have changed positions. Uh, drinking horn cover and spiritual focus are now a choice node together. Following talents are now one point instead of two. And then these talents have all been removed. Which is a fucking ton of shit, by the way. Uh, okay, let's read more dev notes here. Uh, let's see. Holy. Uh, our goals are to replace Light of the Martyr with a passive spell, but keep the same thematic sacrifice theme, move more of the throughput from Beacon of Light into their baseline spells, and redesign Blessing of Summer to feel more specific to their role. Okay, let's, uh, so this sounds like a lot of good news, except Driny's going to hate Light of the Martyr being changed. Uh, Beacon is super fucking powerful, so I'm interested in seeing how that feels. And as far as I can tell, if Paladins aren't melee, at least everyone I play with is mad. So hopefully they fix that. Like, Echo's Paladin, Scarus, who's a fucking huge beast, by the way, like super good player basically quit because paladin isn't fun to play anymore Driny was actually on the edge the entire progression tier because of how less fun paladin was to play so i'm really really hoping that to me that's a sign that like i really hope they they shore up the direction that that's going uh let's see uh bestow light the Light of the Martyr's Health Threshold is reduced to 70%. Uh, I'm not going to read all this. Well, actually, no. I, I, this is the new passive thing, right? An increased Holy Shock's healing by additional... Wait, so where's... Oh, Light of the Martyr's been redesigned. This is what I want to see. While above 8% health, Holy Shock's healing is increased by 20%, but it creates a healing absorb on you for 30% of the amount healed that prevents Beacon of Light from healing you until it's dissipated. What? Okay, whatever. Blessing of Summer has been redesigned. Bless an ally for 30 seconds, causing 20% of all healing to be converted into damage on a nearby enemy and 10% of all damage to be converted into healing on an injured ally. Uh, so, this is better than the old Blessing of Summer, but only in one scenario. Uh, in the scenario where you do not bomb heals into a single player... No, wait, this is just better. Like, everyone's mad at... Uh, everyone's mad that, like you're be able to give people damage with like shit like that like power infusion or blessing of summer this is you're not gonna fucking no it doesn't count for overhealing right so like you're not gonna just spam someone i don't know you're gonna like probably put that on a tank or something or you would maybe put it on a damage dealer who's owning and it's actually really good healing like at like an external healing cooldown like that could be kind of cool uh because like the only issue with like raid healing cooldowns from DPS is in dungeons, but like this requires you to play a Holy Pally for this to exist, so I think it totally makes sense. Um, can you mute your in-game sound? Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't realize I was at the... Uh... Force Taint Strong has been blocked. Please, no taint. Ignore. Uh, uh, changed a bunch of stuff. I'll let more people look at that. Our initial goal with Rhett is to explore how we can make secondary stats more appealing to Rhett to allow a natural progression of scaling throughout an expansion. Oh my god, I'm so glad they're finally seeing this. I have been preaching about this for so long. Rhett is another class just like Windwalker. That, I mean, actually, you don't even need to do a bunch of research. Any class that wants verse for any reason, their stats fucking suck and they should have done this years ago. Uh, but I'm so glad they're doing it now. Due to the nature of many talents offering guaranteed crits... It was difficult for us to make Critical Strike something that feels valuable. To address this, we've reworked and rebalanced these talents to not automatically crit. They will instead gain value when you do crit, such as increasing their Critical Strike damage, which obviously values crit. It literally goes from crit being devalued to being valued. One of the sources we've seen uh, 
of frustration we've seen when it comes to red spec tree is that there's a large amount of friction between single target and aoe builds yep uh leaving very little wiggle room for any sort of hybridization we've done some re well also one of the issues with that is they're just one of the few classes in the game that generates you know combo points or holy power whatever it is and then they're they're a uh combo point finisher class and they just have a finisher where they literally have to choose between aoe and single target if you look at meta melee specs in mythic plus and uh and raid honestly throughout the years very often the classes that are the best are classes that don't make that choice right when you're aoe versus single target on a demon hunter right now it's like the same shit as a windwalker monk it's basically the same shit. You're still going to cast Fist of Fury. It's just AoEs, right? You might, like, throw in, like, a Dance of Chi-Gi or something outside of, like, the, the Bone Dust season. But, like, you're you're doing things that are kind of the same, right? You don't have to... You might have a button that you press to help you AoE, but, like, you don't have to choose whether your literal finishers are doing AoE or single target. Anytime you do that, you, it's not a talent tree problem. It's, it's a class design problem. Not saying that classes like that can't exist or can't be good. Sometimes they often are. Um, you just have to give them a lot more spec tree points to work with. Like, compare that to, like, demo locks, right? Like, demo locks just, like, do single target, but then they just press implosion and just fucking own. Or at least they used to, right? Like, with very little talents. You just can't compete with that if you are someone who's like, oh, wait, do I choose to AoE or single target with all of my resources? It's weird, right? Um, let's see. Le leaving very little wiggle room for any sort of hybridization. We've done some restructuring to alleviate some of this tension to create more room to explore hybrid type builds when the scenario might call for it. Most of the time, this just means we've given you more points to play with and made more things baseline or removed points, uh, which is all, all, always good. Uh, The warrior class talent tree has been significantly reorganized to allow more player choice and build diversity, as well as improve access to utility abilities like Stormbolt and Shockwave. Rage generation for all warrior specs in Dragonflight has been higher than we're happy with, so we've removed or reduced the power of several rage generating effects. With tuning, this will introduce more tactical gameplay on when to use rage vendors. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, not going to read too much of that. Uh, arms. Arms Warriors were the most impacted by rage over generation. If combined with arms having several mechanics that interact with rage spend, and led to certain builds dominating for most of the expansion and led to arms rotation being overwhelmed by ability resets. To address this, the War Within arms are receiving significant rage generation and rage cost adjustments as to make rage management interesting for arms. Many arms talents have also seen significant changes with the aim to give arms warriors more choices for their builds. Okay, I, I like this a lot. I don't play arms right now, so take my, take my uh, opinion with a huge grain of salt, but like, I think there's room in the game for classes that, you know have to make more choices with their resources and they're really expensive but when you get them off you feel like you are hitting like a fucking machine it also makes your cooldowns feel more different than your normal rotation if they also can increase your rage generation right um so i don't know how that plays but uh the sound of that sounds good and it's also unique to how a lot of classes play the game has been not homogenized as a whole, but homogenized more in the case that, like, classes feel like they need to be doing something every global, like a Fury Warrior just massively spamming abilities. But, like, ARMS has Fury. You can play Fury. That's, like, super high APM, just, like, pressing buttons constantly. But, like, ARMS can feel different than that, right? Uh, moderate rearrangement. Cool, not reading any of that. Uh, Fury and Dragonflight. The Fury talent tree allows players to specialize heavily in either Raging Blood or Bloodthirst to the point of eliminating one or the other from the rotation. We think Fury works best when all ro rotational abilities see regular use. Uh, we want to ensure that both Raging Blood and Bloodthirst remain valuable. Uh, and rotational diversity for Fury Wars is the return of Bladestorm and the addition of this. Okay. Uh, and they made a bunch of changes. Uh, anything else major here? Dynamic Flight we don't care about. Known issue. You can't do this. You can run this script to get it. Uh... The item levels of leveling gear doesn't don't care. PvP, skip all this. Professions, we don't care about that. Um, oh, stuff down here. This might be cool. User interface and accessibility. Spellbooks redesign. We saw that. Professions now. It's on micro menu. Mount journal now has a button called switch flight style that lets you toggle. Oh, I didn't know where that was. Okay. Uh, new options. Replace spiders with crab mode. Objective tracker. New objective tracker. Repeat. Flight Mac icon. Okay, cool. We're done. We like that. We learned more about our class today, too. Let's fucking go. So your opener, yeah, chi burst and uh, chi burst, 
and expel harm no longer generate chi. Definitely a huge adjustment. So far, we've been banging with it, though. Uh, okay, I can't press, like, some of my abilities because of some weird, uh, LUA error. Let's, uh, let's rip a little reload. That fixed it last time. Just alpha stuff. Expel harm, no chi kind of stinks. It's an adjustment. Uh, definitely going to give it time to see if it's, uh, if it feels good or bad. All right, so this character's set up. We could do a few, uh... Do a few dun dungies on this guy. I want to not play this for now. Which also means I have room for another button up here. Which I guess I can keep for just if I'm playing Conduit of the Celestials. Because that one has an active use. We'll do one dungeon as each. We'll play Jade Fire Stomp with Conduit because it looks like that that one has some Jade Fire synergy. It could be more single target based too. And then now we got to bind this thing. Oh, we also have to put that on our on our regular reggy bars. So how would a conduit of the celestials rotation look like? I guess it's not that much different, right? You're that, 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 that. And then you would you would get everything on cooldown, and then you would channel. You would instantly send it to get cooldown reduction. You see my, my Fist of Fury is recovering, like, insanely fast. You see it's like a little mini Serenity window with Yulon. It's kind of cool. That one actually plays better than it did when, like, reading it. Where recount? Yeah, it just broke, so. Oh, I need to get those macros, by the way. I need the macro for... Uh... What's the macro for... Um... Is it show tooltip... Slash cast. Is it just exclamation point Fists of Fury? Is that the one that lets you not uh, cancel it? What is it? No channeling? I'm just going to try this one real quick. Let's see. Throwing it on the bars. Nope, you can cancel that for sure. Okay, that's wrong. Alright, so slash cast. No channeling. Fists of Fury. Okay. Nope, you can still cancel that for sure. The no channeling needs to be on the other casts, not Fist of Fury. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's annoying. Uh, okay. I guess we can do that real quick. Let's make one for every fucking ability. Uh, let me copy no channeling so we don't have to do this every time. 
slash cast space no channeling rising sun kick new slash cast no channeling tiger palm Max just copy the whole thing besides the spell name. Yo, you guys are brilliant. Uh, what other things? Spinning crane kick. Uh, Jade Fire Stomp. Let's go ahead and just replace that one there, because I'll forget that later. Uh, let's also, let's just go ahead and do all these, huh? We haven't done Blackout Kick yet. That's the one. And Strike for the Windlord. Oh, uh, that's basically everything, right? The Jade Fire Stomp macro isn't right? Uh, is, it, is it two words or something? Or three words? No, it, it's right. I'm just not specced it, so it doesn't know how to show tool to it. Right? Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh... Okay, I think we're good. Now let's try it. Oh yeah, you can't. Look at my CDR right now. Woo! That's sick. The thing is, I just don't even know how you make use of the CDR, though, like... When you have so many buttons, like, how do you even make use of that? Do you do it right before you're... You know, let me try something real quick. Let me try to do... It's gonna be hard to Whirling Dragon Punch, but... Let me do it right before I do, like, my big burst. And let's see if I can just, like... Wait, what does it reduce the cooldowns of? No, sorry, it's this. Uh, reduce the cooldown on Whirling Dragon Punch, Strike of the Windlord. Oh my god, it's fucking everything. Hopeful has a damage meter working. Alright, messaging him. Wait, I'm actually interested in trying Zwen's Bond now, though. I feel like Zwen's Bond, apparently, I don't know if it's, the tooltip is still wrong maybe on beta, but they said it's twice as good. They literally buffed it by double. It, it does, uh, it does twice the CDR now. Uh, I don't know how I can make that work, though. Dude, there's so much feely crafting to do right now. I'm fucking loving life. Absolutely loving it. Also, I don't want to freak you guys out, but there's a world with Condor the Celestials. You take the Tiger Palm damage node. It's one of these. Or increases Tiger Palm damage, I think. And then you can take a, like, ramping Tiger Palm stack thing that obviously scales with Teachings of the Monastery. 
And I did a dungeon with it, and Tiger Palm was like my fifth damage or something. Which is kind of nuts. I don't know how I feel about that. There's a separate monk post. Wait one second. Can I try this CDR thing real quick? I think you might not be able to play Whirling Dragon Punch with this because there's just too many buttons happening. Here, let's just see what it feels like. There's literally too many buttons. You can't even... I can't even Blackout Kick. Like, I just... I, I literally just got double my... I had, like, fucking 15 stacks of this shit that I just juiced. It's literally too much. I think you might have to... You just play a different build for this, I think. Dude, if I didn't have to get a Whirling Dragon Punch off there, I would have been fucking popping the... But Whirling... Uh... Maybe you clip Fist of Fury during that for more Blackout Kicks and Rising Sun Kicks. Fist of Fury does more damage the longer you channel it now. I'd be highly, highly doubt that you would still cancel it, but maybe you do. Either way, Con of the Celestials doesn't seem like a massive banger anyway. Here, let me just... This is just a test. Let's go no Whirling Dragon Punch. Let's go... Um... Hmm, what would you even do? Oh, Zwen's Bond. And Fury of Zwen, I guess. Oh, Sky Touch is also really good now, but... Sky Touch feels really bad because Sky Touch feels hella bad because you have to press Tiger Palm like to generate any chi at all. It's not like you can press Tiger Palm and then blast. Like you have to press Tiger Palm like multiple times. Right. Damage meters is Skata, by the way. Wait, so just Natty Skata works? Trying it. Reloading. Uh, it just gave me an LUA error. I logged in and it instantly gave me an LUA error. Reload again. Yeah, ain't no way. That is, that is, that is a huge not working. Alright, someone just made that up. You need Skata Damage Meter Revisited from 2024. This sounds like crazy makeups right now, but... Skata Storage Revisited? Skata Improvement Revisited? You passed it? Skata Damage Meter Revisited. There it is. Okay, let's try that one then.
Oh, no LUA error. Is it enabled? Nope. Uh, this time 37 LUA errors. Instead of just three. That's pretty hype. Slash Gata. Nope, okay. Yeah, we're getting closer. Uh, okay, we're going to ignore that for now. Okay, so we just... No, we're no longer playing this. And we're playing Zwen's Bond. And... Fuck, what else do you do to enable this? It's like... You're trying to do like a Celestial Conduit Turbo Burn. But also you're trying to get your Tiger to a one and a half minute cooldown. Um with improved Zwen's bond and now you're just a one and a half minute class and everything lines up that that's that's definitely a possibility here let's see how this works uh how would this go so we would do this full channel it and then go oh you'd want to cancel right I'm not, I'm, I'm not canceling right now you would cancel for sure I think you would still cancel Fist of Fury even with the changes. Or at least it feels like you should. Dude, that's crazy. I feel like I'm owning right now. I never saw Whirling Dragon Punch light up during all of that. Yeah, probably because I don't have it talented. That would be one of the main reasons. Boys, I think... I think... Is canceling Fist still on the menu? I don't think it is. Like, you're spending... Okay... My only question is, if Fist of Fury does more damage the longer it casts, the question is, is it worth casting Fist of Fury at all? Okay, so... Hopeful said he downloaded Skata on Curse Forge. Okay. And then you're going to get an LUA error, but don't worry about it. Just do the console command. What? What? What console command? Oh, just slash Skata? Oh, okay. So maybe I had it right initially. What, what, what version is he mentioning here? Let's see. This version is 10.0.2. Is that the same thing for mine here? We have 1.8.4. It's the exact same one. He's saying that's the one that works. Okay. Okay. All right, deleting old, uh, the weird Skata. And trying again. He says you get an LUA error, but just fucking pull it up. All good. Last time I'm fucking with this, though. Until someone has an actual, like, guaranteed way of getting it. Okay, reload. Enable. Oh, it's enabled. 
uh, slash SCADA. Nope. Options. How do you open SCADA? Slash SCADA ain't doing shit, so I feel like I'm bug bad. Slash SCADA show. Nope. Slash SKA. Nope. Nope. Okay. Definitely not. Definitely not working. Uh, okay. I want to try the burn phase again. The only thing is I need, I need a way to, uh, it might just be too much CDR, man. I need to have the ability to cancel spinning or cancel it. Hmm, let's try it again. Nah, too many buttons, bro. Too much, too much reduction. Alright, that's enough cooking. That's enough cooking on that. We're Shadow Pan boys now. Try it without ordered elements. That would make it significantly harder. Uh, yeah. Although I am interested in Zwen's bond. Can we try something real quick? Chat, you guys want to do a little try? Quick little try. No lust or anything. I want to see how, uh, how it, oh, no Russian dude win. Perfect. I want to see if we can get Zwen to, this is kind of an AOE build. Actually, wait, let me just say this. So, so, uh, new loadout, AOE, save. All right, now I'm going to change this for single target, new loadout, single target, save. All right, we're on single target now. All right, uh, what are the single target nodes that are bad? It's like, oh yeah, this, that. We go over and get that. We don't get blackout cleave. We get teachings, yes. I think most of this still stays. It's like, you need to spend one more point at the top to go down, and it's like probably dual threat. Yeah, and then everything else is the same. At least I like running it the same. Uh, yep. All right. Let's see what cooldown we can get. Uh, what cooldown we can get Zwen to. Assuming it's actually working. Like, they said they buffed this to be 0.2 seconds per, but the tooltip still reads that wrong. So let's just see. Let's just, like, count to two minutes. Can you do a timer? Right? Slash timer? Isn't that a, isn't that a, a UI element? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, it's not looking like we can get it to a minute and a half, I don't think.
This looks like just normal, right? This looks like it's no different than like live. So I just think it's not fixed yet. Like there's 130 and it's 10 seconds off. Zwen's bond stinks, man. Yeah, I think it's worth trying it. Like it's uh it seems like it's 15 seconds less. Yeah, but like okay, for people who are doing this on live though, like who you ever take Zwen's bond, isn't it like only 10 seconds off? My only question is, is it actually working? Like live you get like 12 second cdr and we got more than that there all i'm saying is if zwen's bond enabled zwen to be a minute and a half cooldown and line up with storm earth and fire and then you actually just play drinking horn cover instead of spiritual focus you have ordered elements for that burn as well and you could play con of the celestials and have your active ability during your one and a half minutes that would be fucking insane Max, someone was saying Scada works in Alpha. Uh, unless someone wants to send me the file they're using, it's certainly not working for me. Uh, I, I have it. It's not just not working, so. Scott, hopeful downloaded Scada, recount and details on Curse Forge, and it just randomly worked. Good luck. I mean, I did the same thing, and it didn't, so. All good. Uh, only reducing the cooldown 0.1 seconds into string distinctly. It's not 0.1, it's 0.2. They just buffed it. It is 0.2 seconds. Uh... It is, uh, yeah, it's not 0.1. It, but, I mean, it says 0.1 right here, so maybe it's not changed like this, but yeah. You're using a scuffed add-on manager? Here's what Hopeful said worked. Hopeful said this is what he downloaded and worked. I downloaded the exact same thing. Scott a damage meter, 1.8.4. It's the exact same file. And also, wow up is getting this directly from curseforge that's what cf means it's the same uh, it's the same uh same app the pin message is he downloaded all of them okay but like <laughs> okay so he has what recount scada and details same right uh we have detail i guess here let's fucking let's load them all we got details uh, we got Recount, we got Scotta. Oh, wait. What? Why does... Why does installing all three of them make them all work? What kind of fucking crazy shit's going on? Wait, so if, can I disable details? Okay, I disable details. Now can I just disable... Recount? No, okay, having recount enables the other ones to work, but recount doesn't work on its own? Recount does work on its own. Why the fuck was recount just not working before? It's like an Exodia thing. They just combined. Oh no, recount was working before. It just wasn't able to actually do anything. It doesn't track any damage. Look, it doesn't do anything. But when you... So Skada doesn't work on its own... But when you have recount, Scada will turn on and does work. Okay. All right, we're fucking we're we're in here then. I just need to figure out a way to hide recount. Here, I'll do it by putting it off my screen forever. Uh I wonder if I'll need to get that back in the future. We'll we'll we'll, we'll check back up on that. Uh okay, bars. Uh, bar texture. No, definitely not that. There we go. There's that. Um, left to right. Yes. Uh, title bar. I remember using this, this thing. Um, where's the, uh, bar font? Needs to be visible here.
Uh, can we make this just longer? There we go. That works just fine, right? All right. All right, we're good. Reload to save that. All right, I think I think I know. I think I want to play Shadow Pan. We're not playing Zwen's Bond. Uh, we could fuck around with Rushing Jade Win in the dungeon if we want, but like, I'm thinking it's either Jade Fire. I want to play Jade Fire for a key and just see how much Jade Fire is doing, especially if we're not playing Shadow Pan or if we're not playing Conduit. All right, sorry, I just I took so long to set up my UI, but we're finally online here. We are ready to go. Who, who's who's trying to do some dungies? You're in a single target build? Oh, true. You're right. Uh, Jade Fire. Oh, uh, you know, I'm going to change this. We're going to do that. I'm going to try a different uh, keybind setup here. Alright, let's see how this works. Too far away. How should I do this? Oh yeah, so that... Why did that not give me energy? Oh, my rising, my rising sun kick buff wore off. This feels pretty good, chat. The only thing is, are we like too high in our energy economy here? Do we actually have too much energy? Can we can we remove like energy burst or or uh, inner uh, inner peace feels way too good. What's your eye level? Uh, not anything good. Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't have that bound right now. We're 437, punch kick guy is. Don't know why I said that like Yoda. Uh, what kind of things we have? We have a haste and a crit trinket. Ooh, we could try mastery too, because that got buffed. Not verse. We're no longer verse gamers. Alright, let's do a dungeon. I don't know, pre-made groups maybe? Dungeons, find a group. No one has a dungeon set up? See if I can find some gamers. Actually, dude, I don't even care who I'm with. I just, I'm just trying to game. Can't you just queue? I probably could queue, yeah. Uh, sure, let's see if that works. I mean, maybe there's enough people on that are trying to do one. It's a DPS queue though question where do you see oh it's down here yeah this this I think I think this is the first one we're gonna try this is the first build we're gonna try the other world is we play no jade fire with like fury of zwen 
And oh shit, I'm in single target build right now. I am I am cracked out bad. Uh, let me fix this to actually be single target so I don't forget for later. Oh no, I think it kind of is. Yeah, let's go back AoE. Which is actually it's not even that bad. It's literally like just a couple of buttons that are different. Okay, is Wen's Bond definitely no? The question is, do you? Oh, I kind of want to see Jade Ignition. I kind of want to see. I kind of want to test Jade Ignition. You know, let's not. Let's not. Yeah, let's do Jade Ignition for one. Let's do no Jade Fire. Uh, let's do no Jade Fire. And let's do Rushing Jade Wind too. Um, what the fuck do I get rid of for Rushing Jade Wind? This would be kind of hard. Uh How about sequence strikes? You have a 100% chance to gain blackout kick after consuming dance of Chiji. You just don't even need that proc. Oh, but then we have no way to get whirling dragon punch. Well, oh, there we go. Uh, we would have to get rising sun, two rising sun kick points. Ain't no way. Uh, maybe it's the one G from blackout kick. Yeah. Fuck it. All right, we're queued right now with randoms. Uh, let's see if I can get a group here. Any dungeon doers? Let's see, what's your damage meter? It's just Skata. It's Skata, but you have to have recount. Yeah, here's how you get your damage meters to work, everybody. You need to install recount and Skata. And you need to have them both on and just turn off your LUA, LUA errors and it'll just work. I'm going to reload before I forget. Um, This is a... Uh, it makes no sense. Scott on its own will not work. Recount, recount on its own will not work. With recount on, it will make Scott a work. I'm just going to put ourselves in the group finder, I guess. Are you, let's get, are you guys gaming? Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking pressing buttons. Are you in a dungeon? Sang is 200, Sang's 200 oil level, so he can't do it. Doesn't it scale you? Dungeon yet. Yeah, it probably scales. I'm just, I, I, the fucking questing gear for me, I guess it's an evoker thing, is just 170 straight. Oh yeah, your guy stinks. Fucking smelling shit. Especially create a guy, Drake, for not copy. Uh, uh, you create, I think. You definitely no, create. Work. Work. I tried copying when nothing showed up, so they're probably just not in yet. So I'm gonna try to fly to another town. Yep, I'll be uh, I'm, I'm ready for a dungeon whenever. All right, fucking I'll uh, it. I'll put a group in the group finder. Say, so I think it's too far to fly to the other zone. Which zone? Hell on the map. I can't even see it. Dude, you know there's a zone in the hole, right? In the town. All right, the group's called. Going on there yet? The group's called dogs, 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 dogs. Instantly, bang. Nice, found it. Your I hate Boomkin? Nope. Oh no, you're sa you're you're saying for sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need a. If Lip comes, we're gonna. Oh no, we actually, Sang would have to heal, which would be bad. 
We need we need to, I mean, we have three right now. We need a tank and a healer. You can go without me, it's fine. Okay, let me grab uh just boring. Got yeah, it's okay if I just grab yeah. a random tank and healer. These dungeons are pissed, they're like absolutely nothing. Yeah, I just wanna press some buttons, I guess. Okay. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna get a prez evoker. Oh, actually. There's one, I don't know if it's Prez, but there's, I think it is Prez. Prez has this thing where they like randomly hit mobs for like a hundred million right now because of some weird interaction with one of their things and I don't want him to do that. I'm going to get the rest of Shaman and then well, we I just need it. I think it's Chrono Warden or something like the Evoker Chiro. So it's Og and Prez. That's how I saw. There's a fucking zone in the, the core way is what it's called. In this fucking town. Might it's try to. Go down it. In. Might try to queue for the dungeon. Are you able to walk in dungeons without getting DC'd? Someone said they were. Uh, I walked into the rookery just great. earlier and it was fine. I'm going straight down, Sam. Yeah, um, yeah, you go down and then there's like stairs and then it just keeps going down and then eventually Blizzard gets mad at you. And you can't act actually, maybe you can go fast enough to see all the way. There are like Dragon Light boosters here. I don't know if you get dismounted. Wait, I want to make it to the end. No. There's just more hallway. It, the rain deeps. Is this a zone? Or wait, the core way? Yeah, it's a, I think it's a zone down there. But you won't be able to make it to really see much. An order mark. Yeah, I need to turn on the crab filter. I'm getting freaked the fuck out. You're a crab. Are we gonna attempt to walk in or are we uh, fucking. I'm flying over there now, yeah. I just have to get my oh. party frame in a good spot. You can get to the other one. Where's the other one? Nah, there's two, right? You can get to the rookery. I don't know where the fucking. Other the meter is in like the top, the very top right. Holy shit, this build looks massive. Yeah, it's fucking neat. It looks better though. Yeah, how, do you, how do you even find out to open the spellbook? Or do you use the, like, keybind? Keybind? Yeah, just peek. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. I had the spellbook open for too long, and some weird shit started happening. I had to all die for, so be hmm. warned. All right. Dude, I feel like my mount, when I'm like angled down, is like going straight. Like, dude, Boomy, what are you doing right now? Uh, we're about to queue a dungeon. Who are you playing with? Zevi. Just you and Zevi. Yeah. Do you want to leave your group and come with me, Sang, and Kingflight? Sure. Is there enough roll? What does that enough mean? Enough rolls? Yeah, if, as long like, as... You have... Are you tanking? I wasn't. I was on Windwalker. Oh, fuck. Uh, no, we need to tank any healer. Fuck. Never mind. Yeah, that's fine. You just do your own group. When, uh, yeah, we we have three DPS, so we would just need two. All good. You're... So they, they thought about that, Sang. Yo, worry. uh... Oh, hey, I zoned in. Oh, my fucking... Oh, no, I lost some settings. Is They're it the gone. one at the bottom? Oh, no, it's... Oh, it's all the way in, like, the top right. We might need to We're summon Delete Boomy. I think he's lost like me. I'll go now. Oh, okay. Uh... Yeah, give me a second. I was forcefully DC'd and lost some of my settings, they said. Holy crap, I had, like, three and a half mil health. Let's see Oh, there it is. No, I crit it again. Turn around, punch kick guy, it's over here. What? Wait, what? The rookery is over here. Oh, oh, we're doing the rookery. I thought we were doing Cinder That's fine. I'm coming back. The rookery is interesting. It's like a, it's like a three boss dungeon. You like fall down. Huge Blackrock Foundry vibes. In fact, I think you, you do the exact same fall you did in Blackrock Foundry. Like the exact same one. The one where you like fall in the water and walk up that thing. Uh, like that happens in the dungeon at the very last level. The Maiden of Zion. Oh, I gotta zone in and DC again. Yeah, is that like the, the triple boss thing? Yeah, I heard someone is. Uh, yeah, someone said Kalamazi could not zone into anywhere. It just chained DC to. We already, we already zoned in. Yeah, I just. Well, well, saying I, has crit error both times coming in. Yeah, I mean, I just. I can zone in, I just have to eat the crit error for. <laughs> That's good. So, just like, you fun. log in and you're in there, it's just gonna fucking knock you off first. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be, now I'm going to be logged in and inside the dungeon. I got some go. tepid burst flasks. Well, in order to leave the dungeon, I must crit air. And tier Dude, this one is really... elemental potions of power. Okay. How, how, when you have all hero talents unlocked, how much is the debuff? 
16 or something. 16, 18. Dude, I'm pretty sure both of my hero talents give me less damage than that. Yeah, I'm not sure about mine. Oh, I have I have damage meters working as well. If you guys want to get them. Oh shit, I do. You you uh, it's really weird. I have no idea why this is true, but you need to download just current, uh, current Scada and current retail, and you have to enable both of them, and it will work. You'll get a shitload of value A errors, but it'll work just fine. You just have to do the script to hide them. Uh, recount, sorry, recount and Scada. I said retail. Re recount oh, and yeah, Scada, and you have to have them both enabled. For whatever reason, recount doesn't work on its own, and Scada won't work on its own, but Scada will work if you have them both installed. I already know. I'm going to be top man. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Wait, what? Are you playing Void Weaver? Yeah. Oh, I guess that's the only thing you can play, right? Uh, Are they all here? Like the other one. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Yeah, fuck. Fucking pull everything. Yeah, fucking. Let's go. I'm pulling fucking it. Fucking fly it. I already pulled it. Yeah, it's zapping us, but I don't care. Sang, what are you doing? What am I doing? I, I don't know. I don't have meters. You're doing a lot of fucking damn. Or you bursted oh, yeah. You bursted very, very high. He got PI. Oh, Did yeah. he? Relax, relax. Wait, haste is good for me now. Yeah, no, no, it's good for me still. Nah, nah, fuck you, buddy. Fuck, you might be too powerful. Yeah, might be powerful. We, we, we might have to... Q with different groups that don't do damage so you can feel alive. We'll have to get ready. We're kicking Sang out for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I destroyed this. Oh, I'm fucking oh, blasting shit. Sang. Yeah, he bird. just bursted high. You're done. You're done. It's not a cow. I got friend that main plates on. I gotta turn these off. I don't know how well. Uh, that is cursed. Alright, stuff's happening, boys. Yeah, um, it's all good. I'm demon. Dude, I want to play. I, I, I set up a, or I'm going to set up a dev evoker today. I just want to disintegrate three things at one time. Yeah, it is. it's cool because you get like all the resources and shit for just disintegrating everything. So it just fucking shit happens. I must get this. Look, boss. Got the boss. Oh shit. Hey, boss. Ah! We pulled the boss in too. Let's fucking go. I've been, I've this boss fucking stinks for melee, by the way. Like extremely stinks. Yeah, I lost my fucking... Alright, I'm gonna stay numbers. up with this. I know what I'm supposed to do if I get it, but... We're uh, doing damn. Okay. Now, the boss should go to the middle and make melee mad, I think. And you can just hit oh, full-time, right? Oh, my. So, okay. oh you, can, you have to dodge this. That stuns for six seconds. Oh, we pulled <laughs> some fucking mobs, by the way. Going around. <laughs> Yo, steer in the deep breath. No. Holy sturge. You can drive that shit now? Yeah, you fucking drive it like a car. Too far away. I require a target. I have to be like right up against the edge, dude. It's kind of spooky. I can't run this. It's too I fast. got a bubble. Yo, range. putting the boss over there. That what was me. The I, ba I baited it here. You can blame me. I got a debuff after the boss. And then you like jump down and you can get one of these feathers. And then you, your extra action button, which actually I'm going to bind right now. What's the extra action? Oh, it's just. You like just bind extra action button. And yeah, it like. You could just use it to land on things, I guess, oh, to go so. down quickly or slowly or something. There's oh, some other birds maybe here. there's some reason to maybe you're supposed to do something for an achievement. I've never really understood this part. Oh, I just freed a bird. I land on this bird and now it's flying out. That's hype. I, I'm freeing birds. So I don't. I don't know. That's probably the achievement. Rocket ship coming in. Oh, I'm getting sucked in. So 
Zuck. Zuck? The hero talent doesn't work like I thought it does. If Shadow has any setup at all, you're just gonna do no damage. Sang and I are fucking obliterating everything. Oh, there's just this talent where if I cast an iron play, it has a chance to summon a mindbender, but it also just puts it on cooldown. So. Oh, the mindbender? Fuck yeah. Oh, they pulled a lot. Well, let's go. Let's go. I'm beaming it. Stunning. I can go mega huge after this. Wait, are you doing the one that puts the bombardments out? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I haven't Fire seen it proc too much. Isn't, but that, the I think it procs Isn't that thing stinky? No. That, well, that's just like the almost baseline shit. I, must get closer. I wonder if... Uh, I don't see other people with bombardments. It's like, because I put bombards and anyone can trigger it, but I wonder if it's like... Uh, like other people procking it, and I don't see those ones. Can you even show overall damage on Skata? Bro, Skata is ancient. I forgot how long ago it was till you, since you used Skata. Let's see. Ancient technology. Oh, a talent of mine. That's his first one. I feel like I'm not procking. I'm not seeing many bombardment procs because it's like really big enemy. I'll show, I'll show your breakdown at the end. If yeah, that's even if, possible. I'm wondering if I'm getting all the bombardments or if I'm like seeing ones that. Oh, everything's good. You got all the pie. Wait, did I? Oh, you must have. I didn't even press a single fire. Won all oh, maybe it was Kingfly. I don't think so. Or maybe those things have no HP. That's the only thing that makes sense then. Oh, maybe it's my Kingfly. Actually, I should have no Deep Breath does a lot of damage. Okay, dude, these were so much more fun when I was playing with people that did no damage. When everyone does, <laughs> when everyone does damage, this is this is just like the mobs get just don't dunked, have any get health. Dunked, get dunked, maybe like get take dunked. gear off or something. Okay, I'll just because you first. you don't even feel like you're doing anything. You're just oh, he's dead. Well, I almost right, let's do a fucking this. twenty. Oh, we're going down. Oh, it's the Iron Maidens. Yeah, you know, what happens if I like just. I just glide over here. I can. I'm up here. Okay, I'm coming Damn. down to you guys. Oh, the game just gave me a to... tutorial for how to swim. That's that's fucking lit. Nice. Oh, well. well, you bet there's a deep breath coming in for these guys. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna hit them all too. No, let me through. No, nah, I was stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. Dude, I'm about to queue in the fucking group finder for this. This oh. cannot. I don't think this can. I don't think you can play with people that know how to play the game and actually feel like you can play your class. I know it. Mobs in the rear. In the back. I don't have a target. I got the beam. I'm fucking beaming everything. Out of range. This boss is really weird. It has a shield, and when you break a shield, some bird comes down and hits him for like 30% of his HP, so it's like it's oh, like phase based almost, but it just repeats the same shit, spawns some ads. It's really Steering weird. Steering in. Let's go. This the boss? Well the boss nah, is after this, yeah. This big guy's the boss, yeah. But this bird's throwing something. I think this bird's helpful. We throw a fucking. There's some lightning coming out of it. I don't see what it did. I don't know that. Yeah, I'm not out noticing range. many about Barton or Proc, so I wonder if like, other people are just taking them. Or actually, stuff is probably just dying so fast that I mark up a bombardment and then it just dies. That's probably actually what's happened. I need to 
target something first. Oh shit, the fight. Shit, boss. I want to come here to pulled. Still got birds casting stuff. Drop the thing. Ooh, I, I, I think. Killing Adds these. in the back. Yep. Oh shit. Big beam from. Right. Yeah, that, oh, is that the Massy D, the triple? Yep. That was, uh, is, wait, I thought that was gear. the other hero talent. Nope. That is that is the bombardment the one? Yeah, the bombardment one is the Massy Synergy. Bird coming in. He's charging up. Boom. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That stuns us. Steering a deep breath. Oh, and the ads just came in just in time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you break his absorb, and then the boss just, like, auto dies. Yeah, but, like, if you do enough damage to his actual health, you can probably, like, skip a phase, maybe. Maybe that's the intricacy to it. Like, see how he's at, like, 5%. If we would have done more damage at specifically the windows where his shield is broken, maybe we could have done it faster. Dude, my character is popping the fuck off, by the way. We're doing a huge jam. I need to see overall. I don't know how the fuck to use Skata. It's so specific. Oh, here we go. Damage. Oh, I got a 551 during this. Segment. Total. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'm blasting. Oh, yeah. Why did I get a 551 high level turn? Now, how, how on Skata do you see your damage breakdown? Does anyone remember? Like, if you click it, it just, like goes away. So. I don't know if I ever used Skata. Uh, Skata and recount. Oh, I time. think that's the bit with Skata, is that you can't do that. And then, uh, what's the fucking script I gotta do for the lure errors? Fucking DM me that shit. DM you what? The script for the lure errors? Like hiding those? It's... it's... You know? Script error space zero. It's there's a parenthesis though. Someone in my chat will have it. Hey, okay, tune in. That's Slash console space script error zero. E and errors see, is capitalized. Dude, I can't even see what's doing damage. That's fucking suck. Dude, even recount does that. But recount right now isn't working. Fuck. So I, mean, I can't put the socket on uh, these rings over there. Okay, I got some fucking shit showing. Surely that'll work. Is there something to damage? Just for fun. Um. Oh, that was too to use that item. Unlucky. Can you get details to work? Nah, details was super broken. Warcraft logs works. Okay, so we can log a dungeon apparently, and that works just fine. So maybe we do that. All right, let's go to the metery. The metery bangs. All right, I'm taking a bird. I'm sure, that's the exit. Oh no, my is this my crit error to leave the dungeon? I gotta turn out this fucking talent. Fuck yeah, offline. Hold on. You know what sucks is I'm probably gonna have to fucking fix all my shit. I need to like hard log out after I change stuff. Dude, I looked in the, the dungeon finder and the like category for the Fuck, expansion. I was trying to see if my thing was lit up. 10. I don't know the name, just expansion 10. I don't know where this dungeon is. I'm just Dude, around. Let me let me press the button. Why won't it let me go thunder mode? Do you have to be like at terminal velocity or something? What? How oh, do you man, hit? All the way how do you hit crazy fast there. mode? Or does this button just stink? You need charges. Ten. He's turning around. Oh, ten stacks. I see. Oh. Oh yeah. Sorry. I, I was talking to my chat about something. It's somewhere over here. It's like on. The, it's like somewhere around this part of the map. I'm. I'll, I'm gonna find it. Did you see, we're in a bee. You see these bees? That's how you know we're close. So well, this place is called the Mead Yard, bro. It's right here. It's got to be right here. 
Yeah, that's what it's right here. I don't know where the stone is, though. Whee! I'm getting in real quick because I'm gonna probably crash. Our tank is dead. Our tank is dead. Okay, you can't use the stone anyway. <laughs> you just can't use it. I'm offline. Dude, have you seen these trinkets that are in the dungeon journal so far for the raid? Uh, no, I haven't looked at gear at all. I didn't read them. But... There's like only trinkets in there. There's like one trinket per boss. And one of them is like really fucking stupid, I think. <laughs> Wait, which one? Okay, Nexus Princess. The so cartel communicator? Boss. Yeah, it's one of those. Oh, God. Nexus Princess. Okay, let's see it. I just looked at the text was really long. Gives you fucking tasks to do. Yeah, you're gonna have to like run around and pick shit up. That's unusable. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Bricked. Yep. Instantly bricked. Wait, is it only trinkets? Pretty much. Okay. Did you see the uh the the warbound uh system? You can like trade stuff throughout your roster. What kind of stuff? Is your guy's name Lip? No, it's D4 bad. Yes. D4 bad. It was open. Can you see that saying binds to warband until equipped? Oh, yeah. All right. Imagine you can do that shit with raid gear. So pulling all of this is kind of insane. Oh, yeah. Uh, easy. Okay. Yeah, these mobs like can't be stunned or something like that. A certain amount of them. Do not tell me mechanics. Let's go. All right, let's fucking go. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm just fucking pressing lock. He's pulling everything, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm let's, let's fucking go. I love I, I love this. Damage. Let's fucking go. That's ding. Rats. I must get closer. Oh, pulling the boss in too. Let's fucking go. There's a boss here? Yeah, Brewmaster, yeah, we just pulled him. I yeah. have so many nameplates, I can't see anything. Yeah, it's hype. I'm stunned. Goodbye. Let's go. Alright, this is a phase. You have to get the beer from the thing and take it to the five patrons. Okay. I'm okay, doing it. Alright, I'm steering my deep breath over there. Looking for the drink? Oh wait, I gotta get him from the bar. I see. Well, I can hey, you guys do that? One, I'm doing damage? I'm doing damage? Yeah, I'm, I'm kinda just Are you doing damage then? Okay. Oh, well, I got one more coming in. What is knocking back in this pack, you know? Uh, do I have to just have like walk in here? Wait, there's a new set of beer. How many beers uh, do you gotta bring? No, back? it just keeps putting... You have to do it to five total. No one ever got that guy. I'll do it, I'll do okay. it. Or... Can I do it? I can't click on these anymore after I've done Oh, I have one in my hand. That's why. Doing it. Okay. Yeah, done. I thought it was... Okay, so it's the... It's the stuff. hired muscle. Yeah, Whatever he does to this fucking stuff. Canox. Oh, my numbers are off again. I'm pissed off. Whee! Dude, I'm just fucking holding the brew high in the sky while fighting this guy. Huge, 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 huge. I didn't get it. Wait, punch kick guy got the whole fucking. got everything. Oh wow, we can go multiple ways. Yeah, you can go, go either this way. way. So this All way right, is the, the like beer wing. The boss is literally called IPA, and we're, we're gonna. I found a flamethrower! Flamethrower! I Wait, that what? Guy was a Cars, chicken. gnome, goblin, mechanome of at least 25 skill. Get out. Looking, well, looking at the his icon on the map, I thought that guy was a chicken. I'm out of range. Oh yeah. Oh, these guys spawn these exploding brews that have to die, or else we get turbo owned. If you didn't change uh, your default nameplate settings, you probably can't see them, by the way, because default nameplates are awesome. I can see them, I probably can't do much. I saw them with default nameplates. 
Well, default nameplates you can see them. You have to like turn on. There's like, like minions or something. Right? Yeah, no, it's it's the always show something like that. Oh my! I just do initial burst, I guess. This guy's marked for bomb. Oh, is, any, is anyone logging, by the way? Oh, I forgot to fucking turn it on. I turned on advanced combo logging, but forgot to actually do the log log. I'm, out of range. I'm dead. Where's that guy going? He runs the wall. I haven't had time to set up any of my fucking dry shit. Don't have a target. I'm all natty. Yeah, <laughs> mostly nat, dude. Yeah, I think just killing these guys allows you to pull the boss at least. Marking the high health guy for bombardment. Make sure you're hitting him. Oh, who's this careless hobgoblin? Yeah, this guy runs in the walls. Yeah, he's fucking done. There's a barrel over there. Floating brew. It's easy dead. That's the boss. So, I don't know if this tank knows this, but you just can't let the the blobs that spawn on this boss touch him or else he gets a huge absorb. So saying, you'll just kill all of those for us. Oh no, uh, Kingfly will dot him. Is it these guys? I don't got Perfect. any damage for bit, but all good. Is it these things? Yeah. Alright, he's pulling it right next to it. Oh, he's pulling it away! Right. This guy's a beast! Oh, big Massy D! Boom! Oh, oh my god. Cool. There's some other ads just randomly joining the fray, I guess. Fucking Massy D. You're just massing everything. Fuck it. I'm finishing this guy off. He's they're done. Rage. I'm being out now. They spilled their drinks, so they're in there. Uh, we don't have to do... Oh, no, I think you do have to do this to get out. Yeah. We blasting? What are we doing here? Oh, we're still running. All right, I'm, I'm going. Just fucking rear disintegrate. Oh, we kite. I don't... All right, I'll fuck it. Don't worry, everything's getting dotted. Keep running, it'll die. I must get closer. All right, this is a king fly pack. Oh, I'm just fucking... Oh, oh right, that was something. Yeah. That was something. Something just happened, definitely. Find Massy D. What happened? What was that? Oh, Probably a failed batch going off, honestly. Uh, I'm being melee to go. God, I actually fucking love Kyle calling myself Massy D. Just fucking that's just his name now. Oh, I have Massy D. You don't have Massy D. Massy D. Bees. Yep, this is a B wing. That guy's casting Bezooka and Bestial Wrath. Okay. B. B. I'm gonna stand in the Bezooka. This thing stuns. Rain of Honey. Real shit. On God. I, I, I'm just dying. Fuck it. Just die I then. just caught it something. I pressed oh, caught it. Uh, so these guys, sting. when they're dying, they cast final sting, and if those don't get stopped, they fucking just kill somebody. Mm, is that the I have a buff. Buff. Increases damage taken from free swag. Oh yeah, Brand Ambassador casts free swag. Well, I'm taking some extra damage from that right now. And career stagnation. <laughs> I like this dungeon. Yeah, this, this dungeon fucking owns. Has huge pulls too. Final Sting, pushed it. Royal, Tail swipe. Royal Jelly Purveyor. Too far away. I must get closer. Dude, same. Sorry, I'm massive. Why am I so slow? Place. I don't know. I'm slow too. Help. Unslow me. Unslow me now. Big beam. Mark for bombard target right here. Helping it. Final Sting.
All right. Not so much. Many bees. Damn. Oh my. Well, damn. Bam! I'm dead. Dude, what was that? There's no way. I'm... What did you just fucking? That was so loud. Crush, Dragon Ridge. Yo, the purveyor, the jelly purveyor, he's marked from bombardment. Walk and get him. I don't like this slow one fucking bit. Stopping yeah, final stings. Good. One more finals going off. No, no. I can't do it. I stopped it. I paralyzed the it. I'm done. A, a we're dead. Hyena? We're alive. I must get we gotta kill these guys now. Dude, these guys were just we're just be zooking us from the back. Be, be steel wrap. Rear stagnation. Watch out. I can remove uh, shredding, whatever. Final thing went off bank. Ooh, that was on me. That hits hard as fuck. I must get closer. Dude, you're some more trash. Oh, that this is the boss, Bank Busby. I'm not fucking mind control stuff. I want to take control of the brand ambassador. marked for bombardment so this boss we might kill it before it matters but when these three boss three ad sea spawns die you can mount them real quick and then you press one and you aim the bee at these barrels to destroy them i don't know why destroying the barrels matters but it does okay uh, aim at a bee does yep. that, oh, I aim at a bee one. aim at a bee Psst. yep nice bee i'm, I'm shooting a bee too the bee bot? Yeah. Oh my god, there's some bees. Yeah, there's bees everywhere. If you zoom out, if you did like the macro to zoom out farther, it's uh, only bees right now. Oh, I didn't even know there's a goblin on the bee. I thought we were just fighting a bee, but it's a goblin on a bee. Some, there's some bee jets over there. Or bee lit. And then now we're about to take the bee Get line. On. We're going to take the bee line up to the top and we're going to fight the BEO. After we destroy her, yes, men. <laughs> this is dungeon. There's uh, not enough bees in this dungeon. Wait, no, it's just gonna take us right here. B. Why'd that take so long? Because. Because. <laughs> Saying, relax, buddy. What? That was funny. Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm bombarding the yes, men. They're marked. Wait, that one was Concursor. Yeah, and also he was casting Downward Trend. <laughs> this is the CEO. They have an ability called fucking Cash Cannon. <laughs> someone cooked here. Yeah, oh yeah, someone's cooking. I got a circle. Rashok waves for all the barrels you blow up. They also do damage on I'm Mythic. I'm surprised they don't blow up each other. Yeah, well, they want you to be able to do it. And then if you don't, we're not going to see it because this boss is getting sent to the fucking the briny deep, but right here it blows up all remaining ones and it's a fucking wild ride. I, don't have a target. I fucking, have I, I love this dungeon. I think this dungeon owns. Azeroth's greatest BEO cap. I I am um, this item was in fact passed down from the previous BEO. Nice. Dude, someone someone in my chest said this dungeon is B tier. Wait, there's a letter. Yeah, there's a letter on the on the table. Oh, I can't read it. Oh, you have to be a goblin to read it? Oh, I guess, yeah. You have to be an inscriptionist or something. Fuck, if I made a goblin priest, I could have read that. Oh, I, I wonder what you'd get from this. It's, surely it's sick. All right, chat. So I felt good energy-wise without this. I still need to... I can't tell what any of my abilities are doing damage, unfortunately. That really sucks. Total. Oh, God. I've got a lot of things in my total. You just can't... You can't... Yeah, but you... Wait. Can you see your breakdown? Uh... No. Hold on. I, if I'm trying to remember how Scott worked. 
Yes, yeah, I don't think you can see your breakdown. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, and Scada, I don't think you can. You have Actually, to log. You have to log. I think. Shot us. Scada shows the breakdown by clicking the names in retail. It's just broken in alpha. All right, GG. GG. Fuck, dude. That actually sucks. Like, I, I want to fuck around in this class so much, but you can't really fuck around with shit unless you're like seeing the difference between them. You know. Can you get a log shit? Fun, dude. I have fucking. I'm too stupid to log. <laughs> Dude, I have scatter. I have a detail like scatter meters from I don't know when, but there's a lot of people on this that I'm scrolling down and seeing, and I have no clue who they are. I wonder how old these are. They're insanely old, probably. Well, I gotta like see like if I can find out what boss. This One second, Weak Auras might have figured something out. Where's your Venture Co. No, that's in this dungeon. Hold on. All right, they they typed some some like Egyptian hieroglyphics. I think you need to be like Siori level smart to understand what the fuck they're talking about right here. But they may have found a way to make things work. Who knows? Sneaky snake, dire basilisk, spirit wolf. Where are these mobs from? Dire basilisk. Oh, that's a hunter. Pa I have some players. In I was about to say that sounds like I'm playing. Oh, it's literally just a command. Captain Belinda Stonehearth. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, I think I know where these okay. are from. Reload. Maybe. Can I see oh, my these, fucking breakdown now like or what? I can! Oh my god! Wait. Korax Revenge? Wait, uh, it doesn't... It's fucking... I'll track that. It doesn't show. You can hover over and it shows, but it, it's not Failed in the UI batch. quite yet. Oh, wait, no, that was in this dungeon. Wait, uh, Oof. yo, put this, uh... Put this script that I'm putting in current raiders. Uh, run that in game, and it you can hover over your character and see breakdown kinda. If you click it, it doesn't do anything, but it, you can hover and see your top three at least. Wait, maybe that makes recount work. Uh, that's not working for me. Oh, yeah, maybe if I don't view total, because. I don't see that working. Wait, I think detail recount should work now. Oh, wait, is it? After that, maybe. Wait, details? Recount, one second. I might have a, I gotta, I gotta find some random mob out in the world real quick. Oh. Oh, recount works, and recount shows everything. Fucking God bless. Run that script, and recount works. Oh, oh yeah, let's fucking go. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, let's you're fucking get it. Your stuff pop up. The only thing is it didn't run for those dungeons we already did, but that's fine. I gotta make my recount look normal now. I want to explore this dungeon. Dungeon. If you open up the dungeon map while in the dungeon, it tells you a good name of the dungeon. Give me a friendly name, please. It's just called Dungeon. Okay. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna Where are we do, going? I'm going to do a... Well, those are the only two dungeons you can do. I'm going to do one, and I think you should probably just, like, find random group finders of just people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, if any of us are just doing normal stuff, the mobs... The Kingfly literally can't do anything. Like, like I, I can... <laughs> like, all of my damage is up front, and I can't do anything. Like, it's... Fuck. It, you, I don't think you can play with... With, like, the way that we're scaled, whatever eye level we're scaled to in these dungeons is high enough to where if you have three people that know how to play the game, everything's going to instantly die, so... This is 538. I'm going for Mythic Plus. Oh, that's even higher than... No. Holy shit. That's like Max Admirable Plus a little bit.
Why do I have two? Why does this say I have two talent points available now and fucking my skill commander thing? All right, chat. Let's see what we do here. Um. Okay, so I I kind of liked the way this build felt. I never felt like I was out of energy. The only time you feel out of energy as a Windwalker is when you're spamming Spinning Crane Kick. That's like so noticeable, but that's kind of always been true when you're just like Tiger Palm Spinning Crane Kick, Tiger Palm Spinning Crane Kick. When you're actually rotationally pressing Rising Sun Kick instead of Spinning Crane Kick, it's just like, oh, you and Blackout Kicking as well, like you feel, you don't feel starved. Max Hammer Dunker. Yeah, I'm going to make Hammer Dunker for sure. I'm going to I'm going to leave this group and I'm going to try to find a group of randoms basically. Like maybe I could just queue, but maybe I I need to find just absolute random people so I can blast. Is Shadow Pan feeling any good or not much impact? I cannot describe to you how little impact Shadow Pan has on you. There is one thing that Shadow Pan does that's very noticeable, and that is that. Hey, I'm trying to find What's up, Sang? Yo, I relogged after like doing that shit you just said, and uh, what is it? Fucking recount for the dungeon we just did popped up like the entire dungeon. Oh. So if you want to, I'll that. just do another dungeon. It's fine. You need a tank or a healer for fast queues. All right, any uh, if you're a healer on beta right now, just message me. My name is Punch Kick Guy. Wait, what are this? Are these are all? I'm assuming these are not like new. Fixate on the target enemy within 40 yards to increase your damage to them by two to 5% based on item quality. So it's a 5% damage buff for 20 seconds as a potion. No one here has alpha. There was a couple hundred people in my stream earlier who got alpha, yeah. Speak up. Dude, don't speak up. Don't speak up if you got it because people in chat are fucking are are ready to be so mad at you. It's a it's a trick. Oh, these are new like verse blasts and stuff. Okay, we'll grab some of those. Edit mode. We should just make this show up all the time, right? Just uh, always visible. And then we'll just put a couple of buff things there. Oh, huge healing pots. Okay, let's grab those. Uh... What's a good, like, DPS spot, I guess? All right, I can get any kind of, uh... Wait, none of these foods do anything. This one does, though. I mean, I'll just make a group, I guess. It's a dungeon group called... But I have to leave my queue, uh, which, I mean, perfectly fine to do that. <laughs> Ain't no way that's popping. Uh, here we go. Pre-made groups. If you're watching the stream and you can tank or heal so I can get in a quick queue. Don't really want any other DPS players unless you stink. 
If you stink, that'd be fine. I just can't have people doing a lot of damage or else I can't actually get an accurate read on what my things are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the group called. That's what the group's called. Oh, I need to go get some food, too. Yo. Oh, do we find a guy? Let's see. We got Snoops the Warrior. Nah, I can't get Dan War. Sorry. We need only only bad damage doers. <laughs> Alright, and preferably a healer. I mean, I'm down to do key. Fuck it, I'll do a key with Dan. Fuck it, I'll bring a warrior in this bitch. Two warriors. Just run two DPS instead of three. Wait, that's actually the move. Hope wants to join. No, we just we just learned this lesson. I think I think doing two DPS is actually just the move. We just need a healer guy. We definitely need a healer guy. Ooh, man. Should I... Okay, now we're still going to test this. I really want to test Rushing Jade. Actually, if we're going to test Rushing Jade Wind, wouldn't we want to also play Conduit? Because Conduit has, like, Rushing Jade Wind synergy. 
definitely. Like, he would absolutely play it with this. Uh, okay. Healers don't exist. Unfortunate. Let me actually type in one. Need healer for metery. Maybe someone responds. Alright, I'm gonna edit this. Need healer now. Alright, bear back. Isn't the mark of the crane application from Russian Jade Wind worth a loan? Uh, I mean, with your clones, you just, you know, you, you put that out. Also, I'm I'm interested to see how much damage Spinning Crane Kick even does. Max, does the Courageous Impulse work on Blackout Kick? Shadow boxing treads. I haven't tested it. I have no idea. Wait, is Tobo dog? Dude, I would invite you, man. It's just that fucking... I feel like we're just going to have the exact same problem. Imagine not inviting dog. Yeah. Kind of want to invite dog. Dude, I don't know if we're going to get a fucking healer, though. Do we need a healer? Oh, there we go. I hate Boomkin. Let's go. We'll get you in on the next run, dog. Me and you. I'm going damn warrior this time. Da -da -da. Da -da. 293 healer. The eye level is irrelevant. You have to fly next to walls to unlock this shit? Okay. So three. Four. Five. No, 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 no. I have to go fast enough. No, 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 please. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. How long does it last? Uh, it doesn't seem very good. James, I volunteer to AFK while setting up my UI. Okay, that's fine. Ha, playing trickster. Ha. Well, he said he would AFK. Well, I guess Tobo did too. Damn. Tobo knew Driny. Dude, I need to try Jade Fire too. While they're getting here, I'm going to go grab some, some shit.
Oh, we have enough time to eat. James just asked, how do I get to dungeon? And then we found out he's in Orgrimmar. Solid. Are we eating right now? Fuck yeah, we're eating. We're eating, we're yeeting. Oh god, I'll see where James is, guys. Let's see. But I can't I can't look outside. Goddamn. Alright. Definitely interested to see how much what we're mainly looking for here is Rushing Jade Wind. Rushing Jade Wind damage is what I'm I know Blackout Kick and Fist of Fury are gonna top. Touch of Death will be under that. Just because of our health scaling at the moment. JPC said, I just tried to Whirling Surge and my dragon just stopped. What the fuck is going... Okay. Dude, that means that James has his keybind. James is in the fucking water, dude. You can't summon. It doesn't work. Wait, he said he's going to AFK while he sets up his UI, right? Can't Dan just zone in and we're good? I'm out of range. Go pick him up. I'm <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's get it. We are getting destroyed by damage. 40 bits is way better, though. Oh, the healer is offline. That's nice. Uh, ringing that, then. Okay, we're going to all die, I believe. Okay, solid. Healer's back online. Looking good. Turn off error speech. Good shout. A little bit of threat right now. Probably okay. Getting a chair thrown at me. Getting hit a little harder. I have a health pot. I just haven't... I'm gonna use that. Is this healer here? I think our health isn't going up. 
You know what I mean? Bro, the mighty stomp is so annoying. Dude, 4 DPS makes this feel so much more real, though. Or, sorry, 4 people, not 4 DPS. Dude, whenever I said that, JB, like, some, like, thread of the universe just, like, made his entire body squirm. What's going on here? We're just looking. We're looking around. We're just looking, looking for... I'm going to help this guy out. We're definitely not single targeting Chef Chewy. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> Getting owned right now. Love that. Let's go. Are we doing boss? This is going... I think this is going to be a wipe. Not positive. Uh, maybe not, but... We're going to have to... Give beer to all these patrons without pulling this trash. And I don't know if everyone here has done this dungeon. So I'm going to have to do it multiple times. That's okay. So let's grab a beer. Okay, grab a beer, transcend, give. Okay, transcend back. Take another. Go far. I'll get the other one next to this mob. I can ring him away, maybe. We're good. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. We're chilling. We did it, actually. There's uh, one more in the corner. I can get it. Oh, we did it. Nice. Let's go. What dungeon are they in? I think I went to the wrong dungeon. <laughs> we are in the, uh, the metery. It actually isn't shown on any, uh, oh God. I don't know how to explain where it is. It's not on the map though. How's Windwalker felt so far? All right, let's just look at this so far. So Rushing Jade Wind is 2.8% of my damage, which means in a dungeon scenario, this talent is worth 3%. Not including a Buster Spinning Crane Kick a little. Where the fuck? Let's fucking... Where are we? What are we doing? All right. Uh, it buffs your Spinning Crane Kick because it puts Mark of the Crane on everything, I guess, if you needed more of that. Oh, yeah. This is going to be lit. I could put a pin on the map, I just can't open the map. It's in the B area, James. It's in like the top right. It looks like there's a bunch of trees on the map. It's like in there. Once you see bees, you're in the right spot. I'm just going to touch death that. I'd rather not get hit. This is an insane pull. Let's go. Healer might die, maybe. We'll see. We're all going to be slowed from Honey Volley.
Oh my fucking god. No, 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 run away. Oh my god. The amount of fucking mobs, dude. This is so fucked. We're, we're dead, I think. Maybe I can, uh, I stunned a final, oh my god, no, so bad. I can ring the next final stings if I don't get threat. They're not final stinging yet. There's one right there, ringing it last second. I should have probably saved it for the millions of other ones. That one's gonna die before it get, bro, there's gonna be like 15 of them right here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let's get that CC going, baby. Oh, one of them went off, I think. Killing that one, paralyzing that. Fucking goddamn beast right now. They're all dead. Well, let's go. Kill that guy casting B Steel Wrath. Dan Ward down. Uh, probably because of threat. Because as soon as he died, they all got aggro on me. So, <laughs> letting that go off. I should have two recount windows. One for current... Uh, oh my god, no. What did we just pull? I feel like we just pulled everything. I can see it in my peripheral. Killing that guy. Kicking honey volley. Can't. Uh, paralyzed it. Ringed it. Kicking it. Beautiful. Guys, this feels good, though. Like, this, the gameplay of this is good. Like, you lost a lot of ways to gain chi. It, you don't feel that. You're, you're just playing like, does it look like that? Like, when I'm just playing? It looks like I'm just playing like normal. Waiting for the ads to come down to strike of the windlord. These final things are going to be super danger. Wait, they're not doing it. How much health do I have? Touch death should work now. Man, Fist of Fury is all of your damn crazy. Look at that. Fist of Fury is so fat. Unspent talent points? Nah, I know. I It keeps showing up. Every time I open it, it's going to show up again. It's I don't actually have unspent talent points, by the way. It is a visual bug.
What are we? Oh, other wing. Yeah, I forgot. I thought we were at the end. Let's go. Three mob pull. We're getting in there. How much that heal? Doesn't seem like a lot. Wait, did James find the entrance? Oh my god, guys, James found the dungeon! Oh my god! Oh, he just went and pulled not he like the 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 tank the uh the mob I can heal quick little health pot there oh yeah big karma with Fort Brute chewed through it actually I'm just doing some napkin math in my head right now, but I'm pretty sure Jade Fire Stomp is still bissed by a lot. It depends on how much it's going to do in the dungeon, though. But I'm almost positive it will be. But the good news is, is it feels way better to use now. Like, outside of the fact that it's named Jade Fire Stomp, it is, uh, com operates completely differently than it did last expansion, and it, uh, every reason that I disliked it, at least, is no longer there. getting brewed on right now. I'm interested to see how much my spinning crane kick did here. Oh, big damage command. Kind of waiting to pop off until uh, the boss is here. Then I then I pop.
Do I have fear on the boss right now? Nah. Guys, my guy is popping the fuck off, by the way. We're doing massive damage. <laughs> Alright, I, I need some time to dissect the logs after this. Need some dissecting time. There's no dungeon music, which is sad. That's why you hear silence and just ability stuff. Windwalker opener, super simple now. It's just Tiger Palm twice into Storm Earth and Fire into gaming. Full chi. Tiger Palm, Tiger Palm cooldowns. Let's get it. I agree, I agree. JPC's doing damage. Look at him. He just hopped in. I don't have a uh, current uh, combat on though, so. You don't want to press Rising Sun Kick before because it resets. Uh, You would just juice all of your chi. I don't think that's good. Maybe later, and I don't think on the opener. So, let's look at my breakdown. So, for this dungeon, Fist of Fury was by far biggest damn, which is great. That's how it always should be, right? Spinning Crane Kick all the way down at 10%. So, Touch of Death, by the way, don't get worried about that. This is just a... A, like, HP increase because of the expansion in combination with... Uh, like having zero eye level. Uh, if that makes sense. Okay, let's look at some more stuff. So Thunderfist, 8%. We like that. Uh, Rising Sun Kick... Rising Sun Kick, honestly, is really low, considering that even being a dungeon, it's still really low. Right? I will, uh, let me do some single target tests and see how that looks. The thing is, Rising Sun Kick doesn't necessarily need to own now, because it, like, kind of enables other things, like... Uh, like in your talents, Rising Sun Kick is the reason that stuff costs zero chi. Uh, when you have like a single target setup, Rising Sun Kick is up more often and also, uh, constantly puts a 4% damage done buff on like the thing you're hitting. So naturally it's a massive single target increaser in general. So are we going to be doing over 1 million DPS with gear? Oh, absolutely. I'm do am I, am I, if I'm reading this right, I'm doing 600k DPS right now and... That's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 437. Uh, what am I scaled to? I'm scaled to 538, right? Did Jade Ignition do any damage? Oh, yeah, that's what I was testing this run. Uh, that's Chi Explosion, right? No, 
Chi Explosion did 2%, and Rushing Jade Wind did 27 So, like, between these two nodes, it looks like Rushing Jade Wind is just better than Jade Ignition, if you were to have to choose. Um, yeah, so probably that's gone. Uh, ref Rushing Jade Wind. I still think Rushing Jade Wind, like, I think you for sure take out both of those points and put them in the Jade Fire Stomp. You press this every 15 seconds. It doesn't reset. And it also just buffs... At least up to 5 targets is going to buff your damage by 12% for 10 seconds. And it's a 15 second cooldown. So if you hit this on CD, you have a 12% damage buff 66% of the dungeon. Which you could average out to, what, like just an 8% damage increase just for this Jade Fire Harmony point. Like for taking both of these, not including the damage that Jade Fire does. That easily destroys both of these things. The filler spell feels good too. Yeah, I mean the alternative for taking that is you, if you want your energy to feel better, you could not take Jade Fire. You could take Energy Burst so your Blackout Kick procs are giving you Chi. Which is that, you feel that for sure. Um, and then another one that might be interesting is this, dual threat. Even in AoE, your auto attacks have a 20% chance to instead kick your target for whatever, increasing your damage dealt by 5% for 5 seconds. So depending on the uptime of dual threat, because you, you, uh, you melee during your spinning crane kick now. You don't melee during fists, but you melee 60% more for 8 seconds after, so you end up getting more auto attacks, right? So, uh... Dual threat, depending on uptime, might be good. Also makes Wind Fury way better. Interesting. Uh, the only points that, like, feel insanely bad on this tree are Last Emperor's Capacitor makes no sense. Um, it... It's not only does it not even do damage now, but it's not even... It's in, like, it's behind an AoE node. So it super makes no sense. Um... What is another one? This one. Martial Mixture. Blackout Kick increases the damage your next Tiger Palm by 10%, stacking up to 12 times. You know what's funny? I actually think this might be not awful, which, but it sounds awful. Like, uh, oh, no, Tiger Palm was one point. Yeah, never mind. It's bad. Dude, Tiger Palm randomly did 9% of my damage in one of these keys. Is it because of this? Is it? Is it this tree that does this? They do some shit with this. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the other tree. Maybe I'm high. I might be high. Yeah, is, is it Conduit that has 30% Tiger Palm damage? I don't know. But Resonant Fist, 2%. Empowered Tiger Lightning. So that could be interesting. Zwen's Bond is almost cool. So it was buffed to be 0 0.2 seconds, but it's not quite a minute and a half. Why that's significant is storm earth and fire is a minute and a half so you could like line up storm earth and fire and zwen every single use obviously with an extra charge um and you could play conduit of the celestials which is a minute and a half cooldown that's pretty strong uh i don't know how strong fury of zwen is Because, like, just spawning a Zwen now naturally has that talent you used to have to actually get. Oh, yeah, I was talking about bad nodes. Um, Crane Vortex feels horrible. Like, I don't know, 10% of my damage was was spinning Crane Kick in that dungeon. So I would have gained 15% of 10, right? I would have gained 1.5% dungeon damage per point of this, and it's super boring. That's ass. Rising Sun Kick damage, fucking, these two nodes are both completely dog shit. And the worst part is, is I kind of want to drop Sequence Strikes because you get so many less Chiji procs now, but it's the only way to get Whirling Dragon Punch, which I'm almost positive is good. Actually, how much damage did Whirling Dragon Punch do that key? 5%. So it's 5% just for pressing the button. That's fucking real good. Uh, and then also, Knowledge of the Broken Temple is giving you 4 blackout kicks every time you press that and blackout kick is my second damage so i'm like whirling dragon punch and this are fucking crazy insane yeah so they, these these two points are fucking goaded
Sky Touch feels awful now. So Sky Touch or Sky Reach previously, I mean, well, it was also Sky Touch, but uh, you get 10 yard range on range on Tiger Palm, so that's definitely gonna feel good. But what sucks is your opener is Tiger Palm ti with zero chi, and you can't keep your chi up in between combat anymore. Your opener is Tiger is Tiger Palm Tiger Palm cooldowns, and then you have full chi and you're blasting. That actually feels good, but the problem is. You're putting two globals into your sky touch that are not, uh, or you're putting one global into your sky touch that isn't what you want to be doing like hella damage with. So, so that's that feels bad. But I mean, you, I guess you could go into a pull with less, or you could go into a pull with more chi, and then that makes it not weird. Storm Earth and Fire will jump to two new targets though, so you'll get like five to six sky touches. Yeah, I know how sky I know how you optimize it. It's it's just like it just feels a lot worse. Why two tiger palms? It's the only way to generate chi. Chi burst doesn't generate chi. I'm not gonna keep explaining that. Uh Okay. This is a node that's kind of interesting. We have a ten percent blackout kick node. But it also makes Rising Sun Kick shorter. Nah, it's bad. What about Expel Harm? Does it not give Chi no more? That's exactly what you just said. Expel Harm is exactly as you remember it, except it just doesn't give Chi. And also, it's cast automatically when you do your rotation. Which makes sense. If it's not, If it doesn't give Chi... It's super ass if you had to press it, so it being part of your rotation is just free healing. And it doesn't fuck your mastery either. That's why you can Tiger Palm twice in a row. Dude, I really think your build is just... This is your build, like, definitely, right now. Not positive on Inner Peace versus Energy Burst. Not positive on Sky Touch versus... Man, if you could just get any other node to get you to Whirling Dragon Punch. Oh, yeah, and Shadow Pan feels like ass, by the way. Uh, Like, I mean, it, it doesn't feel bad. Like, like, you're getting the CDR from it. And when you spend 400 energy... Right? Isn't that it? You gain Wisdom of the Wall. But, like, you don't even feel anything when that procs. Like, it's a huge proc, but right now you can't even... You can track it in your buffs, I guess. But impossible without a good UI, so... How much did the Shadow Pan thing do? Well, it doesn't really... Shadow Pan doesn't do damage, right? Does it do damage? I don't think so. Oh, like literally flurry strikes, yeah. Uh let's see. Good question. Flurry strikes was two point seven percent of my damage, so very weak, but that doesn't really matter. Like that's not relevant at all. Like flurry strikes give you 20% agi potentially they you have nodes that reduce the cooldown further on your storm earth and fire you have nodes that make your uh energy spenders you know do a little bit more damage like you have you know what i'm saying like like you get power uh blackout kick just does 20% more damage your attacks penetrate more armor Wait, striking the same target five times within two seconds grants 1% haste. Multiple instances may overlap, stacking up to 10 times. Oh, I haven't... Wait, what's my uptime on that? Oh, recount. It's probably not good for buff up time, huh? Let's see. Uh, how the fuck would I even look at this? I don't even think you can do shit like that, right? You were at 10 stacks for most of the run? Okay, well, that's fucking... So, Shadow Pin sounds like it's pretty impactful and strong. It's just that... You just don't feel anything. 
right click or use the arrows. Um. Oh, right click at the top. Uh oh, buff up time. Is that? Am I missing it? It's activity. What? Oh, it's this second line here. Dude, <laughs> I don't know. This is some re this is some ancient shit. All right. Uh, I want to do one more dungeon with Jade Fire Stomp, and I just want to see how much damage Jade Fire Stomp does. Wait, servers are restarting in 14 minutes. I guess we're not doing that. Probably need some food, too. Weak aura works. Let me, let me just try to enable it. No, it does work. We just have to import them, obviously. I had to go easy on them. Yeah. Max, would you be interested in reading the Druid specific post about why they made the changes? Maybe. Dude, I'm really considering whether I want to go to my hockey game tonight. I initially posted out because today is alpha day, but I'm getting FOMO. Let me see what time it is tonight. I think it's at 7. I just don't know if I ate enough food. Server restart in 12. Don't forget to make two recount windows. Okay, recount new. Slash recount. Let's see if it'll give me a slash recount. Show hide lock. Can you make another recount thing? Make new window, new window. I don't know if you can do that. Let's look at Dan's damage. Dan is a rampage machine. Thunderclap's second and damn. Yeah, it's probably because he's playing the, like, Thunderlord talent. Thunderclap's technically, like, first and damn, right? Because Thunderblast and Thunderclap are both the same thing. How's Windwalker feeling? Windwalker cranks, man. It's so good. I mean, I've done... I haven't done a dungeon with someone that's done more... Not that that fucking matters at all. Like, literally none of this tuning is irrelevant, but right now, monks seem to be getting the the new person... the new person buff. Hammer Dunker's real good. Hammer Dunker... The Red, Red Paladin is definitely close.
Did you do 600k overall DPS? Yeah. Dude, Fists fucking owns, by the way. How much haste do I have? Uh, well, it's hard to tell. I mean, we have, like, basically all of the same amount of each stat, but 22% haste. I wonder if you just hard stack haste. But they also buffed mastery by 20%. And crit has synergy with... Guys, I think all of our stats are good. I think all of Windwalker's... I think all of Windwalker's non-verse stats are all good. Haste to breakpoint? What breakpoint would that be? Oh, I guess, like, the breakpoint of, like, your class feels normal to play. Or, like, you have enough haste to where you don't have to take inner peace and energy burst anymore. If that makes sense. So, like, you're stacking haste to also enable talents. Gotta see some Riders of the Apocalypse. Here, I'll just do it right now before the server is shut off. It's I'll, I'm not going to fully set up my guy. I'm literally just going to log on my Death Knight and press Army of the Dead. What do you think about this alpha so far? That's good. It's an alpha. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff on alpha, so. Uh, let's see. Okay, get all this stuff off. All right. Are we unholy? No. Okay, unholy. Talk to Torin. We gotta speed run this. Uh, I want to unlock. Yes, this. Okay. Rider of the Apocalypse. On 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 Jesus. Activate. Read nothing. Army of the Dead. Wait, and mount on cool looking Death Knight mount. Okay, wait a second. All right, here we go. Wait, the horsemen are, are not here. That was not epic at all. That was bad. That was really bad. Why? Maybe it didn't save? Oh, I have to apply? I didn't apply talent changes. Fucking oh no. Alright. Spending spending points randomly. Fucked up bad. Fucked up bad. Gotta wait three minutes. Or I can spec Frost. And Frostworm's Fury on these idiots. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, where is that spill? Got it. Uh, uh, zero. Wait, 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 wait. Let's fucking go. The five horsemen. Holy shit. We alone stand vigil in the night. Yes. I wonder how often they spawn. Don't they just spawn when you're like hitting stuff? I think they do. I'm just gonna hit some stuff. I don't have almost anything bound, but. Oh, there's one. We pop we popped a Mograine. He gave me AMS for free. Okay, we popped a troll bane. He AMS'd himself. Not giving it to me, whatever. All good though.
Give me a new one. Let's go. Let's get a new horseman out here. There we go. Popped a, popped a white mane. Boys. Wait, I want to see. So we have a Nazgrim out. So what happens if I have Nazgrim and then I use this? Do I get another one? Are there two Nazgrims? I think there are. Holy fuck. Insane. Hit D and D, please. Uh, isn't it just Reggie D and D? Oh wait, they they do D and D or they do D and D, right? Unholy Army now. It's gonna be the same shit. Mounted combat. Yeah, I don't really know how that works. Uh, I didn't select that one, right? Oh no, here it is. While outdoors, you can mount in combat. Okay, so if we give this a... So I guess I can just mount up. Just fucking in combat as... I mean, that's fucking so weird. I'm out of here. Yeah, and if you don't want that, by the way, I want you all to see how broken the other option is. The other option is you death's advance, but it just chains your it changes your death's advance into a button called death charge, which by the way, you have two charges of if you happen to take this talent. This is the best movement skill in the entire game, and it's not close. Not only do you get everything you would normally get from Death's Advance, you can't be slow below 100% movement, and you're immune to knockbacks and forced movement effects, but this is how fast you are. Ready? Fucking, where's... Oh, here it is. Ready? For 10 seconds! 10! And that's not... That's not... That's not all. There's another fucking charge! Is it like the Paladin one? It's like the Paladin one, but better and longer and and it's a... Uh, and you can't get knocked back and you're immune to knockbacks and stuff. Yeah, it's fucking... Absolutely ridiculous. It turns DKs into the... Probably the best movement in the game. Certainly over a long distance uh, without mounts, but... Uh... Even in a raid fight, the only thing that's like kind of uncomparably better is the ability to blink like mages do. Monk is still better? Uh, yeah, probably actually. Maybe DH is too. But I mean, it's like, wait, it's, it's up there with those though. Anyways, I'm logging off, so being online while it restarts doesn't fuck me up. Max, what version of recount are you using? Uh, same one. You have to do a script that Weekor has tweeted. Max, are you going to check out the raid today? Dude, honestly? I'm thinking about going and playing hockey, maybe. I'm, like, really considering it, actually.
That would involve me leaving in like 50 minutes. Guess servers could be down for a while. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see. I mean, I'm not going to have like a million things of content to do this weekend, right? There's probably not a new build until next Wednesday. But I kind of want to set up my guys today, though. Need a goalie? Nah. Apparently a bunch of our guys are out today, though. Our team might get destroyed. Maximus, Decimus, Meridius, I am out. See you, man. Um, yo, speaking of Maximus, that was the only part of the Fallout show I didn't like. I thought that character was, was tough. Or maybe maybe the actor wasn't great. Like, I love Fallout, but that, that character, I, I just, I don't know. I, that dude, to me, just, he just, like, couldn't act. Maybe it was a bad script. Yeah, I don't know. Certainly not awesome, though. Ghoul was the best part. Yeah, Walton Goggins is a beast. I'm Walton Goggins. Was that Walton Goggins' biggest, like, role in a TV show? Like, he's been, like, second fiddle to Danny McBride multiple times. He's been in some good films, but, like... I think this might be the one of the things that he's been the biggest, like, been the biggest in. Justified? Oh, I haven't seen Justified. Fuck is Justified. Wow, that is, wow, that's sick. Were you talking about Vice Principals? He's done a couple. He's in Vice Principals and also... Uh, uh, Righteous Gemstones. Yeah, the... um, He's not... Yeah, but like... Okay. I guess maybe he's not top billing for... For Fallout. I would imagine he is, actually. Is he? Let's see. Oh, no, he's not. He's behind uh, Ella Purnell. But I feel like Walton Goggins kind of ran that show though I don't know Lucy Lucy's actor was also super good but he was a fucking beast yeah maybe that's the reason why the Maximus actor didn't seem very good is because the ghoul and Lucy were just insanely good characters But I don't know. No, okay. I think Walton Goggins is low-key the main character of that show. Well, actually, wait. I can't I'm not gonna talk too much about it. But, you know, you kind of see from his perspective from, like, the before times, too, right? So, like, I feel like that's a lot of added context as well. God, that character's so good. Max, is this 10.2.7? No, this is alpha. Although, it might be down. 
Oh, no, there we go. Realm list just came back up. They just got to relaunch it. Well, while we're waiting, I'm going to put some more food in the oven in case I want to play. I don't know if the realms are back up yet so i'm gonna look while we're here i'm gonna look at the wow head thing someone said there was an individual monk post with some extra information i want to look at some of those We've read this already. Yep, this we we like gleaned this much. Yeah, we like that. They keep saying capper. Dude, by the way, one thing I can say is an absolute dub is the removal of Serenity. The decision to remove Serenity and then give you the button here that makes your Storm Earth and Fire feel like Weapons of Order is fucking so good. It is... Uh, maybe you could feel that when you were watching the dungeons, but like... it, it Your Storm Earth and Fire windows are fucking nuts feels so different, like in a good way. Oh, I guess there's not really a lot here. The Druid, the Guardians. Yeah, dude, Druids should be upset. 100%. I'm 100% I'm with Druids. I didn't realize how bad it was until I actually looked at their new treat. For almost all specs, all f it's a little bit less bad for some of the Druid specs, but for most of them, there are terrible decisions you have to make. It's so bad. I can go over a few of them. But, like, regardless of where you start, like, this is a Moonkin, right? Uh, let's see, you want, like, Barkskin increase. You need to take Frenzied Regen and Iron Fur to get a required Thick Hide thing later. You need Sunfire and that to move on. You need, these are required nodes, the magic damage. Now you have to get this. Okay, cool. Guess, guess what do you think, uh, do you think Moonkins need? Do you guys think it would help Moonkins if their Barkskin was 10% stronger? I mean, if you guys have played a Moonkin, this is fucking required. Okay, well, to get that, you kind of want Wild Charge, but you don't want either of these spells. And then you have to spend three points. Matted Fur and Ursine Vigor are awful. You have to pick one, and then you have to spend two points in Shred, Swipe, Rake, Mangle, and Thrash Damage Increase to get this. Fucking nonsense. Like, like nonsense. Okay? Uh, if you want Fluid Form for, like, Feral you, you, or Guardian, even if you're not Moonfire build, you have to take two points into this. For no reason. Uh, if you want range on all of your spells, you have to go deep into magic damage, even if you have nothing to do with that. And, like, you might be like, oh, well, you want this stuff, you can't all have it. And like, no, you know what the really good class trees are these days? Are ones where it's, like, pretty universal, too. Where for your spec, you get all of the things that you like. Okay, you need that. Case closed. It's not an option. There's some things you need, like do more damage or be more defensive in a meaningful way, like passive DR, right? It's obvious. I could show you in the monk tree of some examples of that, actually. It's just so I'm not talking out of my ass here, right? Like, when you play monk, you see reduce all damage taken by 3%, you need that, right? That's that, That's a need. You don't need any of this other shit. Or, or sorry, you need fast feet. Rising sun kick does 70% increased damage. Say less, right? You don't need this, 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 
this, this, none of this stuff. You don't need any of this shit, but like some stuff you need. And then you can go down, like basically, once you get all the things you need in the monk tree, you have like fucking like six to eight points to spend on cool new shit. Or just cool, forget new, just cool stuff. Druid has a bunch of cool stuff, but you spend the entire tree getting points you don't want to get points you need that are locked behind points that have nothing to do with your spec. It's fucking, it is nonsense. Like, this tree is ass. Really, really, really bad. Max, you're spitting on a little bit of outdated info. Oh, sorry. What's the, uh... Max Feral gets ranged by default now. The range node is just spells. Okay, that that's okay. That that's good news. Uh, but if you're a Moonkin and you want like four percent DR, is there a world where where you potentially don't want Frenzied Regen or Iron Fur to have to get Thick Hide? Or spend two points in Killer Instinct after getting Thrash? Um. Like, maybe Hibernate is a branch, yeah. Like, and then maybe you have, like, a CC thing. You kind of need Curse to spell. If you ever need that, you're absolutely fucked. Right? Like, and when things like Remove Corruption should absolutely be... Things like Remove Corruption should be... Oh, I see. I need to have a Dispel for this fight. That's cool. I can lose these other two really cool, like, niche things that are nice... But now I have a Dispel. But that's not true with Druid, because of the way you've locked the points behind things. You're like, I'm losing something like 4% passive DR, or 10% on my Bark Skin, you know, or like Nature's Vigil. You're losing major class utility, slash, in quotes, required things to get something that should be there all the time, if you also want... You know what I'm saying? It's just... It's, it's, it's rough. It's really, really, really bad. And you know what? You know what's possible is... It's the only spec in the it's the only class in the entire game with four specs. And maybe this is just a you know, they, they clearly tried to have the feral guardian y stuff over here and the resto moonkin y stuff almost like in a column for each. And maybe that's just cooked. Right? But also you could just fix it with pathing. Like, first of all, why is iron fur in the tree? Maybe have iron fur gone, move thick hide up to where iron fur is, have improved bark skin path to thick hide and then now you can choose either rejuve which you could want in a specific scenario or frenzy regen to do when you have go in bear form to get some healing back if you just took damage right like um like both of them uh yeah i don't know or bake it in pathing pathing's really bad Like, yeah, like, defensive nodes should be somewhere where everyone can reach it, exactly. Like, like yeah, Thick Hide, we get it. It's in the Guardian column, like, very thematic. But, like, this is something that every single Druid spec 100% will take the whole expansion. It's not close. You always have to have this. You'd be a fool to not have this. It needs... If that's true, it can't be locked behind something that you would never want for three of the specs. You know? Yeah, guys, I, I see that it's up. I understand. Fuck, I might I might dip though. Honest with you, I might I might I might flee. I think I'm gonna flee. I think I'm gonna do it. I have all weekend to stream alpha content, man, and uh, I don't want to abandon my friends. Uh, they had a few people also not show up, and I want them to have enough people to play. Let's see you streaming here. So is Kalamazi because he didn't get into the uh, creator alpha, and I bet that was really annoying. That would make me really upset, so I'm going to throw it to him. Uh, and YouTube, I can't host you all anywhere because you guys are separate. But uh, I don't know, go watch, go watch like an internet historian video or something. Get owned. See you later. <laughs>